Hello, hello, everybody. Today, we are going to be continuing and potentially finishing 9S's B ending story, and we'll be seeing if we can continue and beat, well, at least, at least start to a fair degree, the C ending. Because I do not know. Like, uh. Like exactly how long it'll take, but it's uh, estimated to be like uh, two to three more streams, including this one. So we'll have to wait and see. Because last time we basically spent most of that time finishing up all of like the side quests, maybe of like beating like the Forest Kingdom. But now the only side quests, quote unquote that are available are the, like, DLC challenge ones. Oh, yeah, and also the unmarked search in the desert for artifact quest, which we are, we are not going to do. That is a no. But we're not going to do the Trial of Sand because, like, all of them are the same. They're just slightly different. Like, Trial of Sand is like, hey, fight the robots on the robots' terms. Underground Coliseum is fight as a robot on the robot's terms, and then the Gambler's Coliseum is fight robots on the android's terms, and then you just get, like, outfits and stuff. Like, maybe I'll do it on my own time. <laughs> maybe. But, yeah, it's like, those are the kind of things that I wouldn't mind doing, like, on my own time if I wasn't streaming this. Or if I had, like, other games that I bounced between. But, like, the idea of doing multiple games just split up. Like, one stream, I do this game. Other stream, I do that game. Sounds good. But that's more of, like, if I was a daily streamer. And I am not a daily streamer. I stream only three times a week. But, yeah. The last time, we just finished all the side quests, saw, like, uh, blah, 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 Emil's, like, secret memory place. And now we are going to activate the, essentially, the point of no return. That should also be the, like, split in, like, what's gonna happen. Because last time... We fought the giant Cthulhu monster out here, and uh, 9S split off and got lost, only to appear in, like, the, like, uh, copied city. So this is where the split happens. We have a few things to do to begin that, but let's begin that. It'll be faster if you just take a look at this room. Transfer that data. Who is A2 to you? Neat. We all understand her to be rather dangerous. However, she's hmm. never visited our village in person. My apologies. That's I do wonder why A2 is dangerous but hasn't come to the village. Let's stay sharp and head back to the resistance camp. We should run a check on our consciousness data and resupply. We'll head to the resistance camp. Although I don't think we really need to. Information gathering. Recommended to interface with machines without consulting command. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Well, I've been interfacing with like robots this entire time, hacking. And I haven't been going and like asking them for like approval. Hey, command, can I hack this robot? No. This is your regularly scheduled contact. Yeah, yeah. No problems here. One affirmation will do. I also need to inform you that the commander offers her personal praise for your recent achievements. Huzzah. As a direct result, we are currently considering boosting production of your model. <laughs> really? I'm happy to hear That's kind of funny. I couldn't have done it without your support, operator. You're always so cool under fire, not to mention beautiful and... Yeah. Flattery is unnecessary. Everything's operator, unnecessary. You really meant it, though. 
But interesting, like, you've done so well. They're thinking of up, like, creating more of you. Also, just a small change, I uh, moved the lock-on button to be the shoulder button, and then my shooty button to be my trigger. Because... I was just, like, uh, doing tests to make sure that, A, my controller would work, and also I moved, like, my monitors around and everything, so I was also testing that. And, uh, one thing I found with my Nintendo Switch Pro controller, which I've found ways to use on Steam, is that it was slightly finicky on, like, holding down the right trigger. So, holding down the, or, like, well, the right bumper, I should say. The right trigger is actually working really, really well, and that's why I figured it. Like, it, the, the right bumper is fine for, like, pressing, but, like, holding down, there's, like, small micro moments where, it like, like, oh, did you let go? So I figured, nah, we'll just swap it around. The trigger is made to be held down a bit more than the bumper. Oh, I've got mail. Mail notification received from access point. Interesting that it has to tell me multiple times, so not transport. Server manager, server capacity, it's basically the same thing. Like, hey, if you have, like, music and stuff downloaded, stop. Oh, but then we'll do a quick save. And we shall go. Talk to Amendami. Oh, to be. Your time our android force is currently... It should be back the resistance, so I'd like to... Serious? Dead serious. And with all the... Of course. Anyway. Yep, and since we already did your side quest of... Anemone's memories, past or whatever, it's not activated for 9S's run. So onward we go for supply. Come in, 9S. 9S is here. here. I've sent you a new data retrieval request. Please read it. Over. Hey, wait just a... She didn't even give me a chance to turn her down this time. <laughs> well, hey. Let's see where the data, like, grab de grab ah, it's like, go and grab it. Away we shall. Like, unless this leads off into a whole side quest chain right from here, I think this will be the last data analysis request we'll get, because... Oh, will I, will I have to have, will it just be inbox, or do we have to go to the bunker? Nope. The desired contents of this request are spelled out below. Please gather the following information, information analysis. Vestiges of human life from large-scale ruins in the desert. These ruins are the remains of what was once a, pre, a residential area, a complex of multiple dwellings. Photograph these vestiges and send them to me. Interesting that they're throwing this out at this point. So yeah, just go to the desert housing complex. Thank God for the transport. Away we go! To the housing complex! To the housing complex. But complex housing. So complex, we don't have it now. But as you go to the desert, everybody, remember, stay hydrated. But I wonder, like, uh, cause the activated things are down here, like the circles. I just wonder like what the game wants me to do. Because they're just like general like search around area markers and not direct so I'm not sure exactly what it wants of me. 
And again, slightly odd that they throw this in, like, at this point. And I just don't know, because it doesn't seem like there's any... Like, oh, is that an activatable? Just underneath the light, or was that just a flicker? That was just a flicker. So I don't know, like, if I need to stand in a specific place. I don't think we have, like, a photography mode. I mean, I guess I could just, like, look up, hey, how do I do data analysis freak 2? She said specifically take pictures. The mail contained new requests. Head to the apartment complex in the desert to find traces of humans' daily lives. So just like, ah, pick up items, I guess. That's the closest thing I can think. That's it. What's this? It says ledger on it. Oh, well, more junk for the operator. That's what it is. Because... I probably should have read the email more closely. Because to me, it seemed like she wanted me to take pictures of, like, the buildings. A shoe, hmm? Must have belonged to a child. I'd say this counts as a remnant of mankind. Kind of dark. Also, how did a shoe survive for, like, 5,000 years? Is this a toy? I guess the operator would be interested in this. Okay, this should be enough. What do we have? Broken toys, dirty ledgers, small shoes. Pod, take a photo of this junk and send it to operator 210. Affirmative. I wonder what she will think. Operator 210 to 9S. Yeah. Hello, operator. How can I help you? I've received your data. Great. Does it seem useful? That depends on what I do with it. Oh, fair. All right. It is, however, fascinating. I was aware that humans used to live in groups, but I did not Big know they coexisted like this. in such a wide variety of ways. I'm sure you're aware that most humans subsisted in small familial units. Yeah, small units Some and then a family is a group of people that around each other by blood or social custom. If androids had a similar system of families. <laughs> Operator, are you there? I wonder what she was. Much. <laughs> I must return to my duties. And she disconnected me. I wonder what she meant. Oh, calling back. I have additional information to relate. Yeah. That mail with a reward. Please read it. And nine S. Thank you. And thank you. She disconnected me again. <laughs> well. If she's thanking me, I guess it must have gone okay. Uh, right? Purpose of question unknown. To the inbox. Got black pearls, type 4 O blade. Slow for the pods to use. Analysis of the information you sent is complete. I believe I mentioned this already, but this societal unit called a family is truly fascinating. This would be great use for future research. Your help is appreciated. I wonder if she meant, like... If androids had this, I would like you to be part of my family. But who knows? But that they're playing the nice music. A type 40 blade. Oh yeah, and also the <laughs> this looks like the most terrible dagger in the world. That's like an axe. Hmm. Oh. So the latest like short sword and then the lo the latest big sword. Very interesting. Very neat. But with that out of the way, let's just teleport. 
Ah, eh, let's do it the normal way. Let's teleport to the resistance camp. And then we'll walk from the resistance camp to the flooded place. Give him an uh, opportunity to throw more side quests at me. But I feel like... I don't know. That could be the end of the... Because actually... There was only like two... Like, uh, operator quests for 2B as well. Wasn't there? So there only being two operator quests for 9S also makes sense. You were running, Roboman. No one can trust a running Roboman. You think the running man could be a Roboman? Preposterous. We shall move along to the flooded district. Because that should be all the quests for now. Down we float. The surprise boss of Near Automata. We fight Pennywise down here. We all float down here. Then again, he probably would have starved by now. Since he consumes fear and such. Doubt he could eat robots. Maybe androids. Maybe. On we go, hidey ho. And now we shall make a quick save, and then a hard save because this will be the last time that we get to have a backup before the split. I find it funny that it's like, ah. Oh. It's like, are we gonna see the big ol'? Why must we read all these oh, hey. books, brother? Knowledge expands horizons and enriches existence. But can't we just transfer all this data over instantly? Into your head, perhaps, but not to your heart. Interesting. Uh, I guess. This Adam is a man of hey, philosophy. So... Yes. My name? Eve? This book says it's a woman's name. <laughs> Shouldn't we be called Cain and Abel or something instead? But then you'll be Humans killing me. wouldn't change names so easily. Eh, you Besides, never know. You should be proud of the name Eve. Huh. Well, if that's what you think, then I'm fine with it. Glad to hear it. Um... <laughs> Silence. Is there something else? After we're done reading, can we go out and play? I'm sure it'll be tons of fun. What do you All even right. do to play? But only after we're finished. You mean it? Then I'm gonna try extra hard to finish this. Extra, extra hard. You do that. They're interesting. Like, Adam doesn't seem, like, mean or dismissive of Eve. And Eve just seems... Like... I don't know. Excitable? But yeah, what do what do they do to just go out and play? Cause they're machine androids. Get blasted. But it's just very interesting that only now do we actually get like anything out of them because back in 2B's path the bedrock here was bombed out in the last war they, they were just like the there a few moments as a result. but now they're like throw these random scenes at them humanize them I also need to remember that I can hack enemies if I want but these are small enemies that can be shot down easily now that I'm gonna hack to death. I don't want to deal with that.
Explode! Hey, level 50. Just in time for well, whatever's going to be here. Because we're probably going to have to do lots of hacking against this upcoming boss. But you also, I just realized something. We overall don't have that many, like, boss fights against, like, normal-ish enemies. Androids don't need to bathe. Like, in this gameplay mode. It's almost always in, like, shoot 'em up kind of gameplay. Which is interesting. I guess I can make you explode. Man, make them all explode. Make them all explode. No mercy, only explosions. No mercy, only explosions. Oh, hey, that thing. I thought that thing was going to take more to bring down if I would have to hack it to death. I think that's the last of the machines. Boss time. 9S, come in. Commander? Emergency orders incoming. The carrier ship that was set to resupply has come under attack. It's currently being engaged by a swarm of machines. I've asked all your troops in the city ruins for assistance, and I'll need you to provide backup as well. And they're all going to frickin' die. Now. Good luck. Like all of them. You see, total slave driver. <laughs> if she didn't order others around, what kind of leader would she be? Hmm. If you say so. Onward we go to fight the giant squiggly boss and activate the split in the story. Wait, I forgot I have sword. I need not worry. I heal off of killing enemies. So, like, in this state, I can just easily just walk into them and kill them. Destroy. Destroy them all. Annihilation for them all. Sword power. The power of the sword. Which, granted, is apparently stronger than guns in this world, for the most part. Annihilate them all. <laughs> I missed one. I could have destroyed them all, destroyed them all. My question is, how did we get a Attention, this is carrier, Blue Ridge carrier down here? From any friendly units in range. Did they just refurbish one from the old world? Interesting that we have one of those. Don't worry, we're around you. Ish. <coughs> Excuse me. But I do like that these, like, mech suits increase the power of our guns, seemingly. Because normally these would take at least a decent bit to take out, but shooting them with mechs 
super powerful. Although, granted, it's also kind of amusing. The main reason why we don't use the mechs more often, just for movement, is because they'd send a bunch of them after us. Oh, hey, that thing that maraud uh, marauded, uh, masqueraded as a boss enemy. Which I guess it is kind of a boss, but it's not the boss. Fire, fire, don't let them through. It's almost like it barreled itself away due to its laser. It's from below. If it's that big, we should be able to see it. And goodbye, carrier. Well, that's new. But yeah, one look at this thing, and I can kind of realize why the machines were able to kind of win the war. Still don't understand exactly why the aliens built these things, but hey, I'm not an alien. Is that a machine? Uh, it's no, it's Winnie the Pooh. Huge. Like, what else would it be? Is that a machine? No, it's a very fat android. It's Atlantis, come to claim us. It's made out of the same kind of materials, has the same kind of laser things. It's just a very big, angry Crap. machine. It's You know what would be kind of crazy? Is if, like, during a moment, like, uh, before even the split, they decided, hey, what if we just made the story completely different? Like, oh, sure, you're, you're, you're playing the same story, wink, wink. Only to not. Hey, I just got here. I mean, enemies just looking at me, shooting me, while I can't even defend myself. How dare. Face the power of androids, machines. But it's still ominous that it has, like, a whole factory on its back. The real question is, why did it only show up 300 years ago? So basically, if this thing reaches land, we're screwed. Basically. <laughs> I do enjoy the pods. They're slightly amusing in their response to things. Like the one pod being like, like 2B should initiate in conversation more often. She's just like, nah. Seriously. This thing is nuts. Oh. I, it's specifically saying that I can't hack him. No ease for me. Now, now, game, I'm aiming. Twist and turn. Twist and turn. Blast it. Oh, I almost got caught in that golden laser of doom. Very impressive that the, like, EMP generator part also, of like, shoots bullets. For incoming satellite laser strike. Didn't work. You'd think that a laser strike would be a bit more lasery, oh, but hey. Eh. It's got an electromagnetic barrier over its whole body? It appears so. <laughs> a 
Oh, oh hey, another level up. Are you Yorha? Who else could it be? It's a Yorha unit. Hunter Squadron deploying out of North 12C Defense HQ. I'm the commanding officer, 4B. Don't worry, we'll take it from here. And they just all appear at once. 2B, let's lead this area to the reinforcements. I have an idea. You and I should meet up at the spot I just marked. Let's go wield a cannon. We'll use old world artillery. Lining the shoreline here. All the EMP shielding in the world won't help against close range mortar fire. Got it. I'll help aim. <laughs> I'm literally hacking into her to help her aim. That is hilarious. Uh, this thing's armor is too thick. We need more firepower. 2B. Let's try for a more direct approach. Direct? Oh, right. That's right. Lay down some fire in its stupid mouth. I wonder if I actually have to, like, time the hack. Let's try it. Nope. Do not have to time the hack. I don't even have to shoot it t multiple times. Just once. But that's cool. That's a neat thing. But now it's angry. And now it'll let out an electromagnetic scream. And everyone will die. Seriously. <laughs> Just the way they fall out of the sky. It's hilarious. We gotta bail, 2B. This is bad. I'm gonna slap you with my tentacle. How do we get into our mechs? Are you all right, oh yeah, I forgot that Pascal came to save us. The okay, double question is how did those like three UFO guys catch me? That enormous machine is an ancient weapon. It was designed to help annihilate the androids, but it wound up going out of control. Good thing too, because it is very effective. Oh yeah, I forgot you're over 300 years old. How old are the androids? No one could figure out how to stop it. They eventually marooned it deep in the ocean, but it seems to be searching for a way back. Why would it be searching for a way back, though, I wonder? Hey, 2B, I think I have another idea. You keep that thing right where it is, okay? What? Please, 2B, this is gonna work. Now let's see what, two, uh, like, he was doing this entire time. New gameplay time. Two B, I'm going to see if we can use those missiles back on the shore. But I need you to destroy the EMP unit on that thing's back. Otherwise, they're just going to go off course. On. Still hilarious that Pod was like, Agent Nine S is running from the battlefield. I suggest we should mark him as rogue. And you know Pod would do it, too. Pod is all about that annihilation. Oh man, these things do a lot of damage. If it weren't for my spamming of sword, I think I'd be taking a lot of damage. Hilarious that he's just like, oh yeah, I'm a scanner, we're not built for combat. Meanwhile, one-man army over here. He's basically, well, not as effective as a, a battle unit like 2B, but his hacking basically makes up for that. Die, die. Ow, ow, ow. I would like to be able to leave that game. His spin of doom. The one enemy I'm not supposed to melee. Activate missile controls. Prepare to launch. Missile controls engaged. 
Am I gonna pilot the missile? That would be a fun mini game. Oh, I'm on the missile! You know, that thing's closer than I thought it was. Hello, motherfucker! Missile time! Wasn't as much control as I was hoping for, but still fun. So I was holding on to that thing. I was on it. 9S was on it. Yeesh. Organize a search and rescue party for the missing Yorha members at once. To be. Nine S. Don't die on me. Like, why are we important, though? I guess we were selected for, like, this kind of special mission, but... Oh, cutscene time. Storybook time. Child held sway over enormous strength. But sadly, he was also a little bit broken. He spent his long days hurting those around him. He tried his best to be good and kind. But despite his efforts, things never seemed to turn out. And now as for the giant monster it wanted to be good? They told him he was unwanted. They abandoned him in the deep, dark ocean. And from the cold at the bottom of the sea, he cried out, Mother! Yeesh! So that thing was just a giant baby. But yeah, quick question. How the hell did 9S survive hooking on to a giant ballistic missile? Oh, hey, this again. This is Tactical Support Unit Pod 042, assigned to 2B. This is Tactical Support Unit Pod 153, assigned to 9S. We pods often participate in the same battles. Exchanging our situational data would theoretically allow us to plan combat strategies in a more efficient manner. Proposal. Data should be transferred regularly between pod 042 and pod 153. Yeah, you had this conversation to Analysis. a degree. This idea is sound. Proposal accepted. Records will be organized in time for the next situational exchange. Interesting. No idea what that, that one means. Oh, great. Hacking space. I find myself in a bizarre memory storage area, stretching as far as I can see. Oh, wait, is this the, the monster and not me? Well, either way, I'll just use Ninus's voice. It's a maze. A labyrinth. A massive in interconnected network. I've never seen anything like it. It must have been created by the machines. Ah, uh, so it is 9S. So then, what am I doing here? From your Twitch chat, howdy, how are we today? We are doing good. We are... <laughs> we learned depressing backstory on the giant ocean monster. It was a big baby screaming for its mother. Ain't that delightful? I am 9S. That's all I can remember. Large portions of my memory may have been destroyed. What if I forget everything? My memories, myself, my... Okay, calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Just follow the emergency manual and execute the memory recovery program. The recovery program begins to fill in the blanks of my memory. They drift back like missing letters filling out a word. The bunker, Tubi's plan, a colossal machine life form, a last resort missile strike. Preservation mode was activated at the moment of the blast. It halted most of the safeties this network had in place. Wait, it must have been the MP blast. Hooked me into the machine network. That went by too fast. So this is how 
9S begins to, like, access the machine powers more, I guess. He got scattered through the machine network by the MP blast, so later on he can recover himself. It took a while, but the recovery program managed to restore most of my memory functions. However, I still can't establish a link to my body. Well, I guess there's nothing else to do but examine the surrounding memory space. It looks like the machines gathered and stored a lot of info in here. It all seems pretty random at first, but on closer inspection, I learn how it's all connected. There are a variety of entries, such as data on human history and philosophy, but what's really strange are the records of machines stored next to those. In the politics category are records of the machine's own governmental endeavors. They tried to get elected? They tried all sorts of things. Absolute monarchies, republics, democracies. And that wasn't all. They also engaged in other scholarly pursuits such as philosophy, mathematics, science, and social criticism. That <laughs> These robots feel more human than the humans currently do. It's like the network was copying every possible human behavior and discipline. Almost as if... The robots were becoming human? Machines are imitating humans? We saw them trying to fuck! Back in the desert, 9S. Give the program! Then again, he's an android. He probably doesn't even know the concept of fucking. The robots might be the real humans. That's what I partly theorized a long time ago, but nope, they were made by the, the aliens. Unless the aliens were somehow like a ruse, but at this rate, considering that Emil confirmed that the aliens did indeed invade, and he split himself across multiple bodies again and again to fight the aliens, I don't know. This is all madness. I dive deeper into the records. I can find no indication of the machines creating new cultures or values. They only imitate human behavior. The strange thing is, if a unit fails, it fails in exactly the same way the next time. For example, if a machine forms a dictatorship that eventually collapses, it won't try a new type of government. It just forms a new dictatorship. Or if it plants crops and they die, it just tries the same thing. And again. And again. So are you saying that the robots might just be like the androids stuck in perpetual cycles of trying old things again and again? Hey, Voss from Fallout of Far Cry 3, welcome to the definition of an insanity. This is getting confusing. This is near. I'm just accepting that it's all confusing at this point. And again, they keep performing the same behaviors. They don't ever learn. When it comes to combat, the machines show overwhelming ad adaptative behavior and evolutionary speed. So why do they insist on imitating humanity? And more specifically, why do they imitate their failures? It's almost as if the ob objective is failure itself. Maybe that's a part of their programming where the robots are, like, programmed to bring an end to humanity, so when they start to evolve, they imitate humanity, but then their programming kicks in to cause the fall of new humanity robots? I sense a change in the data. Some kind of movement. I've clicked too many times, damn it. I... I hear something. A distant voice. I announce... All androids... There's something there. Something clearly intelligent. What the heck was that? Are they talking? Pew, 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 pew. As I go through the memory circuits. I announce to all androids. The words shimmer into focus. The voice grows clear in my mind. It is Adam, a machine made in the image of a man. 
We machine life forms have evolved, he says. We made war, learned, grew, and thus we gained a new consciousness. Indeed, it is as if a new life, a new form of existence has been born. Lies! Nothing but lies from a mere machines. Adam laughs. And yet you androids claim to be alive? How very odd. You are puppets who lack even your own free will. No! You're wrong! His words flow through me, as though they were poured into my ear. How am I wrong, boy? I'm... we're... Perhaps you have a will after all, he chuckles. Perhaps you have desires. Now you see, boy, the true meaning of life is hatred. You're wrong. A vile hatred slumbers in the depths of your heart. You're wrong! The more you try to hide it, the more that darkness grows. Wrong! 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 So now it's just arguing with Adam. Damn it. You're made to protect mankind. We're not the same as you machines. Weren't they made to, well, I guess in a way, protect the aliens? All who live are slaves to desire. Such internal appetites are what give our lives meaning. Some seek beauty, others serenity. For me, hatred is the... I'm not like that! <laughs> oh, yes, you are. You do not trust anything. You want to destroy everything. You have lost hope in everything. You want to obtain everything. I wonder what even this means. This seems kind of odd word choices. You want to be loved by all. You're thinking about how much you want to f <laughs> to be, aren't you? Ah, he's an android. He doesn't know about those functions. But still, <laughs> hilarious that they put that in. The second censorship in the game. First was Jean-Paul. The next was fuck. Reality stained by lies. Stop. Stop it. Hatred pouring into you. You're wrong, damn it! Overflowing desire. I'm. I'm not like you. Your true self. We're not the same. Stop it. It's not my fault, okay? Damn it, I. Stop it! Stop it! I. Help me! No! Help me. More storybook time. Each of the machines treated their treasures with great care. One treasured family above all else. The desert. Another treasured its older sibling. The one in the... Oh, its own Eve. Then Simon. Simon. Adam. Hate. Huh. Oh, hey. We got here a lot faster than 2B did. Like, comparatively. Death. So you mean to tell me that Adam was monologuing to me as he was getting the shit kicked out of him? And then Adam was dead. Nine I'm s- Oh. 
I'm no longer crucified. We did, I didn't even get to experience that. Nine S. Too late. I went through Come some on. shit. Let's go home. Very interesting. <laughs> we do, we don't get a boss fight. That would have been interesting, like a a fight in the center of the mine boss fight against Adam, for the argument. But hey, now I wonder what's gonna come up next. The bunker, <laughs> self hack. Become like Kiryu. I wonder if we're just going to be activating a bunch of, like, memory bits, because that was, memory core like, complete. the same thing again. Good. Proposal. Engage visual sensor diagnostics. You got it. Through the power of the self-hack. Hack the planet. Hack yourself. What if we debugged ourselves and just, like, ran away? End up like Shinji on a blue ball. I'm on a big Visual blue ball! No issues detected. All checks complete. <sighs> Took long enough. Don't you think it's overkill to perform a full data overhaul? Unit 9S was seized by the enemy and placed in a non-controlled state for an extended period of time. We don't even know what a logic Frank. virus is. Anyway, I just gotta sync up with the bunker server and then I'm out of here, right? No answer. Or maybe we need to go up? Or do we need to go down? Ah, there it is. The master control server. Huh? They rejected me! Unknown. Halt the data sync. Yeah, I know that, but we just got some kind of weird noise. Halt the data sync for 2B as well. Affirmative. Let's figure out Odd. where the noise came from. Just to be sure, you know. Open a port to the server. Interesting. Two, 9S is the super hacker. What the fuck? What is this? Organization 13? Hmm. No time to examine everything. Better stick to the main data nodes. Like the big ones? Swag twat. They're like, 9S, why are you Detected. hacking us? Access lock to Council of Humanity's lunar server. Oh! Give! Gib? All right, September 24th, shipped. September 25, delivery scheduled. Empty, 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 purified water, repair materials over. What's a barrier doing here? Hmm. Looks like records for supplies shipped to the That's moon. not a lot. Strange. There were a ton of empty containers. Yeah. That's weird. Why would and also, that? no food. Just water and repair. So there's something up there. From YouTube, hello, what did I miss? Well, we beat up the giant sea monster, which is apparently a child crying out for its mother. So, uh, <laughs> because we rode the missile in, we've done a lot of hacking. We had a weird conversation with Adam through, like, the collective connected consciousness of the robots. Learned that they're mimicking humanity. And every time they fail at mimicking humanity, like a dictatorship rises and falls, it, when the same robot tries to make a dictatorship, it's going to do it the exact same way. And uh, now we're doing a weird hacking moment. Uh, I'm fairly certain that there are no humans on the moon, because we just got a shipping manifest that said water and repair materials, but everything else was empty.
What's gonna be in this one, Doc? Detective, your unit storage oh, your high unit storage records. records. One S ten forty no blank to B one two oh three forty yes blank eight H eighty nine zero zero forty yes twenty four S zero twenty one zero forty yes interesting hmm I wonder what those mean meanwhile 12 D 11 B 12 H 11 B 12 H that's corrupted once you get to 11 B it starts to corrupt and repeat hmm. your whole body storage records what's the point of all this heavy security all the black box data has been deleted but it looks like everything else is here Huh? A new port just opened. It's time to learn. Is it gonna be the councilman? He's like, stupid 9S. Detective. Then again, this is a major... Oh, I want this. Give it to me anyway. This is all wrong. I need to check this out too. We must make sure. Oh, they are angry. I forgot. In all this hacking, I forgot that I can aim my gun. An attack barrier? Really? Why the heck would they install one of those in this server? They don't want us to know. Note that these documents are classified level S confidential and are not to be disclosed to any persons affiliated with Yoha aside from the commander. Index. Project Yoha Outline, Yoha Forces, Yoha Unit Combat System, Bunker Administration, Chain of Command, Council of Humanity Development Department, although that's probably less them developing humans, and probably just the Council of Humanity's R&D. Backdoor. We need to be able to hack ourselves, Billy. Support units, black box, resistance communications. Permissions is to be received from the designated parties responsible for each entry prior to viewing. Let's see. Looks like info about how the Council of Humanity was formed as part of Project Yorha. Oh, I can't even go to Wait, the the thing to read isn't it. That backwards? So Yorha created the council? Because all the humans are dead, presumably? What was that? Crap! Did they find me? Negative. Emergency backup request from 2B. Close the server connection and activate my body. Affirmative. Interesting. Nine, Alert. 9S. Operator? What happened? We recently detected large numbers of machine life forms throughout the factory area. Oh yeah, because Pascal and Tubi went down there. After, but have been unable to respond due to poor reception. All right, I'll try to gain access from the main terminal. But I want to read those again because that's very interesting. Yep, because purified water material repair materials, but everything else was empty. This is interesting. Body storage records. Hmm. But yeah, that Council of Humanity Development Department. Maybe they're just developing the Council of Humanity. Well, since we're here, might as well quick save. Any new mail? Server Administrator, I know what you were doing. Also, we're actually quite close to the moon, all things considered. Use of server administration room requested. Oh, is this going to be a new room? New room time? Request granted. 
You may now use the device in this room. First, I'm gonna grab this. Large recovery. The most valuable thing. Oh, I thought I had to hack it. Technically we are, but not through the normal means. Okay, good. 2B's black box signal is still up and running. Yes. These comms are all messed up. Yes. Guess I'll have to break into the other side and take control. Hacker time. Time to hack a bot. Give me your body. Nice. Now I just have to unlock the door where 2B is. Hey, you. Well, these guys are afraid. I thought we were going to forge peace. So yeah, these guys need to die. Detonate. You worship the dead? The machine looks a lot tougher than this one. I should hack it and take control of it while it's not suspecting anything. Oh, so stealth time. Wow, angry at me, are you? I take your body. Remote control. So I'm basically just gonna be trading up on the bodies. Slowly but surely. Which is interesting. 9S is the true hacker man. He is the true hacker man we all wish we could be. Hack the planet. There's an item there. You can give it to me. I'm Roboman. I'd probably need to jump from the stair. Oh, I can't even get it, you bastard. You put an item, but you don't let me have the item. You... Oh. Need to look past all the smoke. I'll let this go. Don't want to get smacked. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah! Yeah! Funnily, this is kind of where I died last time. To the big smackers. So I'm kind of going backwards. I wish I could know your level. But I don't think you'd be useful to me. Yeah, you're level one anyway. Interesting music that's playing too. How about you die and Die. Die and become God. This is what I also get for not, uh, going through the... Like, uh... Alright, you're not angry, so I'll let you live. And having not played as combat bots, I have no experience with this.
Oh, I'm gonna die. So it just respawns me here. Very interesting. Remote control. I have to go through this each time. It is like hell. Let's try not to get crushed. Charge through. Yeah. Maybe I should just like run through the babble on that floor. Probably be for the best there. Because that one also respawned. I got experience, so I think the massacre is still happening in there. Magnus's hacking gameplay is pretty interesting. Very neat. Hopefully him blowing up won't kill the others. Oh, it does. There's no way to do it without. Some of them are fighting back in this one. Because religion, I guess. Hmm. I can't hack him. That would have been neat. Oh god, please just stole them to their senses. Ah, so this is that room. Look at all these broken machines. A few still look usable. Better send these coordinates to the bunker, just in case. Ah, so this is where I respawn now. Gimme that body. Remote control. But as for how, like, our data scape probably looks like on the inside, like, it's hard because it doesn't have any, like, visuals to it. So it's hard to really imagine beyond that. Darn it, that did a lot of damage. Probably need to use that more often than anything. Like, get somebody's attention, run back. Wait a minute! But there's the hack door! How do I get to hack door? I don't think I can get to the hack door, really. There's the dead bodies. Like, unless I can get to the hack door from a... from deeper in. I just, I do not know. Because I thought I tried to jump over, but maybe I didn't try hard enough. Hmm. Very odd. So they definitely don't want me going that way. Which is a bit rude, because they have a locked door there. So I can only guess that we might be coming back this way? I have no idea. You know, I just realized that I probably... Nope, can't even do that. It was like, uh... Put on those chips that... Super upgrade. 
like the people I hack. Dang it. I was trying to dodge a different way. Like what? I don't have many options. Remote control. A little annoying that I can't just walk to the side of these things, so I have to jump over them. But plus, if I don't uh, bother this guy, I shouldn't have much to worry about. So he attacks faster than me and kills me in one shot, so I have to hack him to death. Oh, I better get to me fast. Yeah, I shove you. I shove you. Well, now that I've damaged you, I don't want your body. Ah, dodging is the speed strat. We simply have a knight up in here. Although I wonder. Nope, cannot go that way. Let me out, game. I'll take your body. From motor controller. We won't be able to remote control the big guy because he sees us coming. But we will be able to blow him up. Which is basically the only way to really deal with these guys. At least functionally. I cannot play as the robots the game is telling me to play as. See, Ednis. It is hack time only. Apparently, we get to come back here before, like, a point of no return. Ooh, you look interesting. Give me your body. We're gonna let it smack one more time. Oh, hey, because I float, I'm not affected. Oh, God, that's great. I can fly. I'm just gonna hack you and destroy you. I don't wanna fight. I could have subjugated it, come to think of it. The fact that I can, like, fly is still. Wait. No. <laughs> I was like, wait, could I use this fly to. Oh, that's ominous. There's just a whole ton, bunch of dead bodies there. But there was an invisible wall. Look at all these broken machines. Like, back that one way, so I wouldn't be able to use that to get by, I don't think. I almost said to detonate. I am a fool. I no longer fear you, for I have the ability to fly, but only slightly. Now this is nice to use. I w it would be hilarious if 2B ran by and killed me. Like, that would be hilarious. I'm just going by, doing my thing, 2B runs by, cuts me in d twain. Oh, shit! You would have been scary to face. Guys, 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 guys. 
no gods. Explode, little man. Explode. All they can say is gods. I wonder, can I even do an attack with this? Apparently I cannot. It just kind of goes, yeah, I cannot physically attack, I lack arms. All I have is bullets. Still amusing that they pull out to show us that. Ah, how did it come to this? Please stop all of the killing. He doesn't even... Oh! Neat! So that's how that happens. Now they can use the elevator. I forgot that this happened. Yeah. I have a hat. Oh, hacking into factory system. I better secure an escape route. Gate twelve locked. Interesting. Very interesting and neat. There we go. I don't want to see what's For this way. Project Gestalt Report 1 from 2014. The proliferation of white chlorination syndrome that emerged in 2003 alongside the disappearance of the giant and dragon has continued unabated, and outbreaks are now being observed on a global scale. Despite being researched in laboratories across the world, not only have there been no breakthroughs in the development of a vaccine to prevent infection, we have, no, we have yet to ascertain how it even spreads. However, many technological breakthroughs have been made as a result of research conducted in the on the meso particle that was discovered. Yeah, excuse me. Yeah. That was discovered at the same time. We are confident that the technology it enables, the separation of the soul from the body, how a particle does that, I have no idea, uh, and the independent preservation of both will be the final defense against the unprecedented threat of humanity we now face. Now the project has passed from preparation to the main implementation phase. We have given it the official name, Project Gestalt. Interesting. Why is it here in this place? I guess because making the bodies. Also, Neon, was, uh, what was your reaction and thoughts about when Adam calls out 9S wanting to uh, Jean-Paul to be? It's like... <laughs> I still don't even think that 9S or the androids even know what that is. They don't know what a fuck is. They're the androids. And yeah, don't worry. Whenever I see a path, I'm gonna go down the path for extra research. Wait, how the hell you separate the soul from the body thanks to a particle is beyond me. Disabled. The door's open. Keep moving. All right. Time for well, not even really platforming. Hmm, that says gate. So, well, I should see if there's a way past. This is the way to go. That's the way it wants me to go. It is a gate. We're well, gonna go back. Let's see what's this way. Do. I got hit for I am full. I am double full because they're firing in random directions. Now I have only one hit point left. At least I don't have a time limit on this one. Although I fear that if I die in here, I'm going to be kicked out. Gestalt Report 3. 
We received a report from the laboratory indicating that the basic technology of the replicant system is expected to be completed by the end of August. Verifications of its safety along with clinical trials will be conducted from September through November. A report will be submitted to the Prime Minister indicating that the completion of the replicant system will suppress, represent a tremendous leap forward for Project Gestalt. This report will be handled to the, by the Public Relations Department. Interesting. Also interesting that like a lot of these like later reports, well not these later reports, but the later reports, were found just out in the world. Meanwhile, these ones are all locked up here in the data zone. <laughs> it's left vague so it can be any four letter word. I guess that's also true. Considering that he also was like mentioning hatred and destroying, it could also be kill. Interesting. I wonder what this will be. Raw wow, report two. Protest and opposition to the spiritual preservation method that was disclosed as level one information related to Project Gestalt has sprung up in all areas. The committee continues to receive formal complaints from our research team regarding the collection of biased data as a result of the Gestalt process being conducted on the sick and elderly. The number of civilians have undergone the Gestalt process remains at four. A public relations de uh, department will be established in order to better control information and improve our image. We'll also consider rescheduling the project itself if such an action is deemed necessary. A little odd that they didn't have a pro a proper, like, public relations office, like, before disclosing anything. Hey, everybody, we can remove your soul! And then everyone started screaming. Gate 44. I'm gonna fucking die. There's too many projectiles coming at me. Uh, don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and da -da 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 -da. Somehow I am alive. It's open. Exit route secured. Thanks. It was only by trying to get the is Oh yeah, we have to do this now. I'm gonna die. Lore indeed. Nine S, that Goliath we just encountered. I got it. I've been keeping an eye on you. I'm gonna shut off power in the factory now. Do it! I have to tell you, no, we have not been keeping an eye on it. We have not been keeping an eye on it at all. Factory system at 20% control. You have to hold out for me, 2B. Dang it, dang it. All the orange balls are coming for me. Factory system at 50% control. Now we just have to do something about this core. Not the core. We have to make sure that we are defended. This is the biggest battle royale of bull fuck. Oh, hey, we just respawned. No idea, like, these orange ones, easier to deal with. I do not have the speed to outpace the wave of doom. I don't even see, like, a proper, like, dodge. Oh, there we go. Oh, never mind. There we go. Three cores. Come on, shoot it. Shoot. There we go. If there's no electrical grid, we're also going to die. Now I'm imagining, like, a version of Automata where two people play as 9S and 2B at different... Battles and adventures, the like... Spoke. Oh, grant me the mercy of the land. 
You mean to say that these robots... Release me from my yoke of iron. Thus shall our souls be saved. These robots were worshipping that religious this entire time? Forever and ever. Huh. Those were the words I heard in the moon server. Yeah. But why? Alert. 2B has defeated the Goliath-class heavy weapon unit. Hmm? Ah, right. Is it gonna turn okay. out that I was right and the machine life forms actually weren't created by the aliens? But then that would make Adam a liar. And Adam Not can't yet. be a liar. Commander. I'm sorry. He's dead. You're needed back at command. I am at command. Well, at least I'm on the bunker. After you're done playing Automata, you should really try playing Near Replicant in the earlier games to understand the whole Near timeline. Maybe sometime. Replicant is deaf, and even Drakengard. I'm interested in to see what Drakengard is like. But yeah, those are definitely like on my list of maybe someday. You left quite a trail when you accessed the main server. That's what I wanted to speak with you about, Commander. What the hell's going on? I found records stating that the Council of Humanity was established as part of Project Yorha, but I'd always heard it was the other way around. Is it so because the androids needed a motivation? The of humanity? Yes. We installed the Council of Humanity's server on the surface of the moon. So it's but just that, that one speaker? Mankind no longer exists. Called it. In truth, humans never went to the moon at all. Any transmissions received from the moon are just dummy signals we set up in advance. That's why the only thing the emails is a small bit of data differentiate to the human genome. But why would you? Humans were already extinct when the aliens attacked. Well, All okay. All the details are stored on this memory chip. If you want to look at it, I won't stop you. The humans were already extinct before the aliens even got here. Then again, the Project Gestalt timeline kind of makes sense to a degree. Wait a minute. The Gestalt timeline. Does that mean that, an like, humanity is affected by this, like, dragon and the giant thing? They find a particle that allows them to separate the soul and the body. They start putting people's souls into androids. The Gestalts. The replicants. And then, like, humanity dies. And... They continue on as androids, but because they're androids, that kind of has weird interactions. Then could it also be that through the separation of the soul and body, like, some humans became the machines? There's a lot that could be... Yeah, yeah. Wait, you're just giving me this? But why? No one fights without a reason. And we need a god worth dying for. I'm gonna become the god? What path will you take? It's up to you to decide. Please let me go back. Well, then again, I just saved. I probably should have made a hard save. Is it even a choice? Ah. Oh. Why? Back to this. Why did you have to die? Because he was a madman. It's not fair. My own. I mean, if you look at the other machine yeah. life forms as your family. I'll kill them. I swear I'll kill them. Wait a minute. All. Could it be that Adam? Okay. The human race is. New idea. Could it be that Adam wanted Eve to like become this hatred? Because like. In the pop-up book thing, it said one desired hatred. And it's possible Adam would know that if he died entirely, Eve would go off the bend. So, that's possible. Go on. <sighs> Saving is possible. Considering that we completed everything, I'm going to make... A hard save here. And let's see. First off, old world information. 
These are just like, yeah, the new Project Gestalts. And then Project Yorha. Project Yorha is a comprehensive information project intended to enhance Android morale. This entry details the circumstances that led to its proposal as well as information related to operations conducted during the individual phases. Note that this document is marked with level S confidentiality and should not be disclosed to any Yorha personnel save for the commander. Human Extinction. Following the collapse of Project Gest Gestalt around 3,400, hey, they made the Gestalt program last like a thousand plus few hundred years. The remaining androids searched for a way to revive humanity, but they were unable to discover an answer. The humans went extinct roughly uh, by 4,200. Hey, got another almost thousand years out of them. Afterward, the genes of the Gestalts and structural information of the remaining replicants were recorded and sent to the storage facility on the moon. So it was kind of right there, but the androids are separate from the Gestalts and replicants. Loss of android morale. The news of humanity's extinction was meant to have a to be a closely guarded secret, but rumors of the event eventually began to leak out. Having lost the one thing which they were programmed to protect, android morale began a precipitous decline. Concerned by this turn of events, Command designated Project Yorha as a means to lift android spirits, Lunar Server. The first stage of the project was spreading the word among resistance groups that humanity was not, in fact, extinct, and that the last remaining remnants had escaped, managed to escape to the moon. This deception was supported by installing a communication server on the lunar surface to send regular transmissions. Said server was designed to be manned uh, by as, uh, as few maintenance personnel as possible, which is why they just send water and repair materials up there. Establishment of the Yorha Squadron. Though the dramatic alteration of the next generation combat unit project that had been proposed at the time, new Yorha models began to be manufactured. Official models were created following the implementation of data acquired from an experimental squadron and were then deployed to all regions. Certain members of the Yorha operations staff, however, were informed of the full scope of the project. These units were tasked to operate and protect the server on the moon. Interesting. How do I tell 2B? Is something on the... something here now? Is Eve invading the moon? Combat stations? I better get a move on. Let's-a go. It's a me, Mario. Oh yeah, I forgot they're just getting absolutely annihilated down there. What? So this is endgame. They're supposed to be weakened. Cause unknown. Goliath class enemies also confirmed. Immediate action advised. I'm able to throw my lance into the foreground or I guess background. Yeah, foreground. Wait, but there was a person standing there. What was that? What was that person standing there? That hologram? Well, I missed that, I guess. I don't think I could have gone to it at that point. I probably had to have gone there at a separate point as 9S. are currently being jammed. Impressive, really. Hurry. Like, very nearby the uh, flight unit, there was some kind of golden hologram of an android standing behind it. But I wasn't able to... It just automatically got me into the... the flight unit. So I have no idea. <laughs> You're seeing stuff. I feel like lies. That is a lie. Well, that thing was annihilated easily. Am I just gonna ram? I forget. I forget how the fight goes overall. Oh yeah, I just do. <laughs> Suicide bomb. Then I bounce. You okay? I came all the way from the moon. Landed that direct. Yes. And now you'll die. All of you are going to die. 
What if I don't want to die? I really should have started hacking these things, blowing them up so we couldn't evolve. Let me just hack you to death. Oh, you're gonna... It's been a bit since I had, like, proper combat. Welcome to Toho. I've never played that series. If I roll, if recall correctly, that was just made to promote a guy's music. The man learned how to program an art purely for his songs. Yeah. Or even get the energy for all these lasers. Give me your head. Well, now what? Wait for him to respawn, I guess. We have worms the likes of which even God has never seen. They're still coming? What do we do? There's too many. Be hilarious if during all this I could go just go to like the arenas. Oh yeah, I forgot. Pascal? Come in, Pascal! Shit! Even if the resistance dies, at least Pascal's village lives. That is goal. That is bay goal. You think I care about any of you? You're all very slow anyway. I forgot that they do this. They have magical shield powers now. Little robot anime girls. Or like, uh, magical girls, I meant to say. We're all anime girls in this universe. Damn it! They're here too! Of course they're here too, they're attacking the village. Damn it. Explode already! I should have stayed above. Damn it. They sealed off the entrance to the village and are trying to hold them off, but with these weapons, there's only so much we can do. Let's take these guys out first. And now we can take out this guy. Hey, mind if I hack you to death? Ah, this is one of my least favorite. Mostly because of the mid-attack spawning in guys. They're the ones that make this hell, fucker! I get it, you're a big bad robot boy. Die. I can hack you even underground, idiot. Prepare yourself for major death. Oh, hey. Die. Die. And a level up. You saved us. Oh, thank you so much. What? You're my favorite character, Pascal. Let's go fuck him up. Do be careful. Brother. 
You don't have a brother anymore. He committed suicide by 2B. What is this? Looks like he's bombarding the area with force. In an alternate universe, he probably was crushed to death between 2B spies. We have to find Eve and destroy him. And in an even more alternate universe, he was crushed between 9S's spies. Now what? Scream of agony as all the robots connected die. At least Ingles is already gone. He doesn't have to suffer this. Uh, Suicide for 2B is now my favorite phrase. <laughs> I know you two feel the same. Put it on a body pillow. That this world is utterly meaningless. As far as I'm concerned, my brother was everything. And now. Yeah, this game definitely does die. feel like it has a lot of philosophy, humanity, Why life and death. Like ponderances. To it. Those are always the, like, more interesting ones where they try to think on, like, everything. They use things from the real world, even in, like, deep states, to try and, like, influence. Or then again, that's just, like, good, like, storytelling. It's good storytelling to, like, take inspiration from events and theory and science. Even in these fantastical, wacky worlds. Go hard. I am going to digitally lobotomize you. Until there is nothing left of your consciousness. Alert. Massive energy signature detected. What is it? The energy seems to be coming from a large number of latent machine life forms. He's absorbing the life. Stop absorbing life. Again, the 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 chip tune music. Remixes for these are just nice. Explode already! Uh, he has to reach his full health. We'll never get anywhere like this. I'm going to try hacking into Eve and shutting him down. That's what I've been doing. Ow. No hit he, no hit he. Oh! Oh, what? The, this is what I'm... Okay! Interesting! Stupid barriers. My shooting is better than your shooting. Did not expect this! I did not me expect to actually fight him in here! My shooting's better than your shooting. Because your brother was a psychopath who, again, I theorize, probably just wanted to die to set you off like a bomb. I needed nothing else. Which, hey, you have my condolences. But still being kind of an asshole. I just want to make sure there wasn't anything, like, interesting over there. But, again, awesome music. My brother was everything to me. My life was contained in our moments. And now he's dead. Corruption confirmed in your unit 9S's self-consciousness data. Immediate evacuation and treatment recommended. Just 
a little bit more. If I can remove Eve's object control function. If I can remove his load-bearing coconut. It'll all be over. Why why is it a house? You were on top of a building, you liar. Listen to me, Adam. I never disliked fighting, but I didn't want you to be hurt. And I especially didn't want to lose you. So let's go somewhere quiet. Together, my brother. I punch you! I'll crumble your house! To me! That was very interesting. Now time to see Eve stabbed in the head. Fun fact, uh, Pascal is named uh, named himself after a human philosopher, Pascal. Very cool. That's also cool and like, hey, let's make the name mean something. Oh, Jesus. More hacking. I'm just sad that I wasn't able to destroy his house. Just screw him. Explode already! Can't even hack him. Kill. 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 Get shot already. Still utterly brutal. Also, what even happened to that uh, copied city? Did we just leave it down there? Finally. Somehow I am dead, though. Because I am corrupted on the inside. I became too machine. You know, of all the machines that I've been hacking. I really screwed up. All the robot pieces flowing towards him. I must have been corrupted when Eve detached from the network. No. It's okay. I can always reload my backup data from the bunker. That's what I was saying. You'll lose you, the you that exists at this very moment. I mean, I, guess so. I just realized, yeah, we would also lose a lot. This corrupted like, data to the bunker. So, all the information of Project Yorha. So, that would actually be quite a loss of self. Time for awkward strangling 2.0. Again, how you make androids that are capable of being strangled. Very odd. In the near anime, Eve dies first and kind of diverges from there. You know, that just makes me think that they're like, hey, if we're gonna do an anime, 
what if we make it basically another ending? Oh, what the fuck? Who are these kids? What? Black haired children with red dresses. One is shorter than the other. What? What the fuck? Also giving androids capability of crying. Like, uh, tears wise. Emotionally wise, sure. I wonder why only his face stopped becoming, a like, metal. It always ends like this. How many other partners have you lost? Or are you just... Or is that just meta-talking? The story always ends like this. I still want to know why Emil was inside one of their heads. There's still some alive. I wonder if Eve's body is just lying around out there. I also do find it funny that it's just all the heads. Any heads connected to a body dead. The data it's just transmissions. They're resonating with each other. How they get embedded in that tree. You think they They're just everywhere. I was trying to think of like some kind of universe that had like ball shaped characters. And be like, ah, and this is how that world came to be. But I couldn't think of any. Wait a second, Tubi. It's me. Who are? After I hacked it into the... Like I left my personal data in the machine side yeah. things. Next thing I knew, my sense of self was regenerated over the surrounding network. Having multiple selves fused together like this is a pretty valuable experience, so I wanted to record it. Still hilarious that that's what he first jumps to. So I just multiplexed it over the memories of some nearby enemies, so that when I returned to my own body, I... Yes. Stop rambling. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> yeah. And now you're that robot from the beginning, except you don't have a brother. Still kind of weird that you're that model that has like it's supposed so, to be a colony. The final battle with Adam and Eve came to an end. Oh, now it's a monologue by this 9S this time. Have a great effect on the outcome of the war. To be and I, our battle will continue for some time to come. All the like. But that's another story. Remaining remnants. For another day. And now. The song is being played in a different song, uh, like a different. <laughs> to be or not to be, you, you stole my joke. The obvious joke that is mine. But I'm going to assume that this is like the Japanese version of the song that played over the diddly d. But that is ending B. And it's very interesting. The hacking mechanic was very cool. The difference in fighting styles because 9S is a scanner model is cool. But overall, it still... It still has the fact that it's a glorified, like, New Game Plus, except you don't do all the quests again. They add in a few new quests, which are neat, but, like, 
aside from like the split at the end, a lot of it feels like it could have been done like in a single playthrough. It's still interesting, but it's just like following the same story again with the same boss fights again with only really Eve being the only thing that actually has a tangible Eve and then the uh, boss that to be fought on her own that then became Eve later. Or like, I guess Eve took over and piloted later, I don't know. But like, only two-ish boss fights used the hacking mechanic in a unique way that wasn't just highest tier of hacking difficulty applied to a boss. Oh, hey. I forget. Did we see the... Did we see the moon? I think we did. Like, last time. But I just forget. So my memory is trash. I wonder if that means that... I, I'm controlling! Okay, I'm controlling. Did not expect. You did great, 2B. Thank you so much for all you've done. Alright. <laughs> hey, 9S. Hey, 2B. I was waiting for you. I like that he has my loadout. Is it the... Oh. He, he gave me the E-drug. Say, to be. What? Never mind. But just be careful. Just like your operator before you. Interesting. Are we like considering what they said? You did great out there. I'm going to assume that everything is fine. We got mail. We can't check our mail. Maybe we can. Ch Interesting. A new battle begins. Achieve ending B. Preview. Remember your pain, the pain of having your homeland stolen. We will never give up our struggle. We will take back the seas, the skies, the land. We will take. All right, back new our characters. The scourge of the machines. We will also, new costumes. To mankind. Glory to mankind. Your automata. Meaningless code. Childhood's end. Two routes this time, I guess. Sure. Let's wipe that because we're never going that far back. So, we play... Okay, also, neat. we get Emil's hidey hole. So, we, we play the same thing twice. Yeah, I probably should have gone around the bunker more, but I was just like, oh, follow quest. So, that was a my bad. But I guess... New story time, considering preview. New costumes. Nothing better happened to Pascal, you fucks. We've confirmed that the network core units known as Adam and Eve have been destroyed. The enemy's chain of command has been thrown into complete chaos. As such... Humanity has chosen to seize this opportunity and launch an all-out attack against the machine forces. Of course, the forces of Yorha will participate in this endeavor. Remember your pain. The pain of having your homeland stolen. Do any of we these androids even the remember stolen. that? We will take back the seas, the skies, the land. 
We will take kind of stormtroopery looking helmets. Of the Very stormtroopery looking helmets. We will not fail in this mission. Here and now, we will put an end to this goddamn war. Interesting that they're like, now we give 2B Boy. armor. To mankind. Boy. To mankind. And now we're 2B again. At least for now. Cures visual status elements. Cures control anomalies. Well, that doesn't sound good at all. I'll buy 25 of each, please. I'm never gonna use them, but might as well have them. Server administrator 3F. Server administrator 3F. Please return to the server administration room as But yeah, first inbox. Attention all androids. We have received word of the recent destruction of Adam and Eve, the enemy machine life form's central networking units. With the enemy weakened, now is our moment. We, humanity's great army, will now launch an all-out assault, drive back the invaders, and reclaim our rightful home of Earth. Glory to mankind. We shall quick save. And then make a hard save. Just so that we can. Capacity issue. End transmission. We have very interesting that only now are they like. Let's put an end to all this fighting once and for all. My data processing functions just underwent a full tune up, so you can count on me to support you. I guess he's waiting for me at the flyaway station. I wonder what happens if I self-destruct in this shoot in this suit. This is basically the actual game of the first uh, two routes of the prequel, which is odd because I like uh, looked up how long each route is, and this should just be like five to six ish hours, I think. All right, let's get down there and kick some machine. Blah! Uh, can you please try not to puke while you're in deep vacuum of space? It's super gross. You ready? Yep, let's do it. Good luck. Well, no hologram memory thing there this time. Yeah, it's funny. Like, normal, normal operations on the ground, you wear a, a maid uniform. Before I could convince myself to tell 2B the truth, our final major operation had begun. Still, at the time, I knew nothing. Not how the battle would end, nor what fate stood in wait for us. Interesting. I'm gonna be making, like, Hello, saves galore. Oh! Do you understand? I'm 9S um, now. The scanners are going to hack into the enemy's anti-air system and shut it down in advance of an all-out assault, right? That's right. Good job, 9S. Why are you, you talking to yeah. me like I'm a child? What? That must be your imagination. Weird. Now, let's see. Because, yeah, the gambler's den is still there, but it seems like it's just all these. Well... Down we go. Look for machines that are receiving signals from the anti-air system. They should be located in elevated areas with good signal reception. I forwarded the general positions of the machine life forms you need to hack. And Roger. we shall hack them away. Why can't I use my like super robot bodies? Please refrain from destroying the target. If you do, another one will simply take its place. No killing the target. Got it. So they want me to probably just subjugate. I see your hacking was successful. Way to go! 
You're Why are you? Totally yeah. Me like a kid. Now move on to the next one. Fine. Yeah, it's kind of weird that she's using that tone. Weirdness. Weirdy, weirdy, weird, weird. Again, I wonder why we're not just like... I guess we're not permanently in robo mode. Which would have been funny to explain. The target is thought to be in a high location yeah. good network reception. Try examining the rooftops of buildings. Why are you acting like Navi? It's like you, you kind of already said that. Defensive system operation confirmed to be declining. Almost there. I wonder how many other scanners are actually out here doing things. And again, I also wonder why the commander was like 9S, 2B, don't you die on me kind of moment. I was going to come to you. I, I guess I'll hack you from here. Weirdo, you lost your cell reception. Looks like it's going well down there. Every scanner in the force is involved in this operation. I feel like so it's only me. Try not to fall behind. Yeah, yeah, no falling behind. Got it. 9S. What is it? Make sure to do whatever is necessary to avoid combat. And how will I provide support to the squad if I don't fight? Scanner units such as yourself are not designed for battle. Oh, Yet I went through war. <laughs> I'm merely pointing out that you would be a liability on the battlefield. Harsh. Wow, that's harsh. My hacking skills are beyond compare. Whoops. I didn't do that, though. Unit 9S, your orders are to hack into enemy units, not destroy them. Destroyed units will simply be replaced. Attacking is pointless. Try to sneak up behind your foes, keep out of sight, and then, boom! Hack them up good. Um, okay. that one, that one ran off its, uh, ran off to die itself. I had nothing to do with that. Boom! Is she serious? It's not. We don't even want boom. They specifically want to avoid boom. But yeah, that wasn't even me. That one, I get. Oh, I guess it's like an explosion one. So, when it jumped off, it exploded after it hit the ground. Man, why do I hear, like, a jet? So, at least that explains why it's suicided. It's a suicide bomber from Sirius Sam. Oh, hey, other scanner. Um, just one left, I think. Roger. Be sure to head back to the bunker when you're done so you can sync your data. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Until your combat data is uploaded, none of the scanner models can run updates. Interesting. Okay. I'll take care of it as soon as I'm done here. Appreciate it. I wonder why... 9S needs to upload his data. I guess because... He was in so much combat that they're gonna base the update off his experiences, and then if he doesn't update or uh, upload his data, they can't update. Whew. That looks like everything. Proposal: Unit 9S should rendezvous with Unit 2B before the combat situation worsens. Sounds like a plan. Let me I'm... just mark the point on the map, and there. But what about that other one? What about the other one? You wanted me to do another one. It was up here, but then it moved away. Well, I 
guess we'll follow the game. Game says rendezvous. I guess we're gonna go rendezvous. But I wonder if, like, Adam and Eve will be replaced by other control units by the end. Or if it will just lead to a full freeing of the machine life forms. Neat, I can still hear the tortured sounds of the hacked one suffering below. But very interesting that they're like, what what kind of robot should we have to, like, keep our air defense system operational? The suicide bomber? Also, new song, I think. I will do a quick save because... I don't know. So far, I don't trust this route. Weird things are happening. Somehow it feels like the story is getting darker. Although that could just be that we don't have two bees shining ass out in the open anymore. Instead, they're like, throw latex at this bitch. It's for combat. Power of combat latex, I guess. Did I go to the wrong place? I think I might have gone to the wrong place. I thought we were going to come up here. Wrong place, indeed. I thought, like, because she had her flying machine that she'd come down, but apparently not. Very interesting. But I didn't take down the entire thing. There was still 23% left. Two beats. The operation will begin at a point southwest of the city ruins. Use your flight unit to travel there and meet up with 9S. Will do. We've repaired and reinstalled the weapons damaged in the fight against Eve. Be careful, okay? The mission will be in full swing by the time you get there. I will. Let us annihilate, I guess. The Council of Humanity has a message for all of our brave androids fighting on the surface. Our elite Yorha forces, the pride of humanity, have defeated two enemy network units. Oh, interesting. He's actually saying something new. Entertain us with your doom. No lasers. No lasers for you. That, like, deep-toned, like, piano chord strike made me think that we were going to get attacked by a giant robot. Optimus Prime, here to kill us. Should probably be careful. You know what? Fire. Yeah, you spin to win all you want. I'm not going to get too close when you're preparing that. I learned my lesson. <laughs> Meanwhile, 9S doesn't get a spiffy combat suit.
Sudden warfare. The operation is underway, and a few squads have already engaged the enemy. Our orders are to function as a kind of guerrilla unit that provides support as necessary. I forwarded our squad's current positions to your map. You should head over there ASAP. Sounds good. Let's a go and kill. Probably find all the others dead by the time we get there. This is 4B, Captain of Vanguard Squadron Alpha. We're being worn down by a fierce enemy attack. This is Guerrilla Unit 2B. We're on our way. No madness. Now, no dying on the job. This is like the simplest enemies. Surely you aren't going to die to the simplest enemies. Then again, they are just level 20 rubes being thrown out here to the wolves. Why in the world would they do that? Thanks for the assist. We're heading out to support other squadrons. Like, are any of them alive? I don't think a single one of them survived that. I think going there might be better to then jump in. HB with attack squadron Omega. We've gained control of our assigned zone. Heading out now to provide support elsewhere. Again, Weiss and level 20 rubes. I mean, sure, I was like level 5 when I began my war effort. But I'm the I'm special. God, your hoss sucks. Just send 2B and 9S to do everything. This is Unit 7B with Vanguard Squadron Delta. We're currently pinned down by a number of machines that appear to have lost their minds. This is Unit 2B. We're heading over now to provide support. Roger, 2B. Much appreciated. Now remember, no dying. Somehow these big guys are going to have less of a body count. Thanks for the assist. We're heading out to support the next squad. Understood. Well, first things first, I should probably look in for any machine cores left behind. Alert. Detecting an unusually high number of hostile machine life forms. Why are they going nuts like this? I thought Eve's network was destroyed. And that's probably the cause. Well, that is a colony one. It's not that crazy. What is crazy that they sent level 20 rubes at this. Amusing that, like, the simplest, like, enemy squad is the one that did the most killing, it seems. Because of all the guns. Thanks. We'll join you, if that's all right. Tubi, we've sighted new enemies in the region. They've got attack squadron Omega surrounded and are giving them one hell of a fight. Can you get over there and provide... Somehow, by going backwards, they've gotten into more danger. So now I have just like a small army of Yorha with me. If we can actually jump up here.
nice music that or like song that's playing. Well, looks like we're gonna have to battle our way through. They're probably gonna get killed through this. No murder. Just hopefully that one of the attack zones isn't Pascal's village. Considering everything. We're like, none of these Yorha units are going to live. These are like the weakest enemies and they're kicking Yorha's ass. I don't think we're gonna win. At least they seem to be winning with numbers, the Yorha units. Oh, they evolved. Into bombs. Oh, EMP. I shall destroy all enemies through the power of explosions and love, which causes murder explosions. But apparently they're hacking me. Oh, visual camouflage? Damn it. There's no end to them. I gotta finish them off and help to be. Blast! Damn it. Let me just, like, super hack you. You'll do a lot of damage. So they are just throwing a whole bunch of, like, new mechanics at you. Jesus Christ, stop! They are just spamming everything. It's been a while since I saw that configuration. Stop being a weirdo. Jesus Christ, at least Pod is, seems to be immune. You okay? And they say I'm not a combat unit. What's happening to all of them? That's not good. Are we gonna have to start killing Yorha units? Are they going to become corrupted? This viral attack. Hey, 2B, you're kind of basic. I got to do something. 2B, you okay? Well, that's not good. They're all going laughing crazy. So we are going to have to fight Yorha. They've been infected and taken over. No. Wait, what? Att Attack functions aren't working. That's because of their Yorha IDs. 2B, I need to hack into you and fry your identification service. <laughs> Do it. 
Oh, now you're complex. Then again, that's like the specific one. Luckily, this lot are terrible. God damn it! Two B, I located the unit that's jamming our comms. Got target location data obtained. Marking on map. Where'd the level forty-eight come from? Where were you when I needed to like defend everybody? kind of items you drop. Uh, just normal stuff, Al. How dare. God, you're a spammy little fuck. I wonder just how much we're killing them. Or if we're just, like, disabling them. Interesting, they're now using different battle weapons. Apparently my pod said fuck that Yorha in particular. Very spammy. But what is going on, I wonder? At least all the Yorha units will be in one place to gather up at the end of this. Come on. Yeah, that's close enough. Hey, why'd you recover faster than my attacks? Granted, it's a heavy attack, but still. Again, thank Lord for the shockwaves. How many of you are there? How many weapons did we give these Yorha units? How could we afford all these swords? At least uh, two. Uh, at least nine S got to two B before it went crazy. Get obliterated. It's like never ending. Are you gonna be the one that ends it? Seems like it. I wonder if I was meant to be moving someplace this entire time. Meanwhile, I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna kill them all. <laughs> they spawn infinitely. Doesn't feel like it anymore. <laughs> infinitely is just for uh, those who quit, you know. 90% of people playing near Automata stop before they kill the infinitely spawning Yorha units. The jamming is coming from that thing. Now they're spawning again. You think I'm scared of bullets? Take care of the jamming. Pod, send an emergency distress signal to command. But now they're continuing to spawn. Pod! Alert. Connection lost. Unable to reach command. Damn it. They're still jamming Second. us? Signal reception is clear. Connection lost due to server side authentication failure. No response is coming from command on any channel. Huh. Shit, what happened to the bunker? 
And why are they all laughing? To me, I have an idea. It's possible to access the bunker through a back door in the system. I can use that to initiate an emergency upload of our personal log data. Then we set our black boxes to self-destruct and take them all out at once. Well, that'd be one way. Data upload 30% complete. 50% So basically, it's the beginning again. Are you done yet? Almost. We're at 92%. To me, your black box. I'm not sure if they want me to act. Yeah, we have to come over to him. Complete. We must begin black box explosions. Why they give you such stubby fingers? Man, that that hole is just going to become a bigger hole. And now we are in dress mode again. Is this place also going mad? Do we have to fight through the bunker? To be. We have to report back to command. I don't think that I don't think anything good's gonna happen. Well, I guess first quick save. And then a hard save down here. This is gonna be like the end of Yorha, isn't it? All the operators are gonna be dead. Well, no, things are happening. Commander, to be nine S. Things went weird. What are you doing here? The Yorha units on the ground were infected by a virus. We had to detonate our black boxes in order to stop them. A virus? What are you talking about? Were we the ones infected? None of our ground units reported anything about a virus. That's because all communication with the bunker has been severed. And why did you leave the battlefield anyway? I didn't order a retreat. Because everything's Can whack. You, Yorha has gone berserk. <laughs> no. If what do you mean, no? If infected here, it's you. Are you nuts? 2B, 9S. You're being detained under suspicion of virus contamination. Well, great. Wait a minute. Oh, hey, look. You should have believed us, you idiot. Bingo. Oh, great. Everybody. They're infected. Why aren't you a good Come combat on. model, Commander? So now we're going to have to kill the operators, too. Infiltrate the bunker itself? Ooh, here we go again. Operator, what? That's not the operator. It's Who is it? Well, great. And they've been here the entire time. That's why that one operator was talking weird. <laughs> Why does it sound like Pinkie Pie is invaded? Seriously, I wonder who, like, what voice actor that is. Because that sounds like Pinkie Pie. Well, hopefully we'll be able to back up all the Yorha units, you know? Black boxes, but at the same time... They're in the bunker. No real backing up if they are inside the backups. <laughs> Excuse me. To be, it's open. Glory to doom. They're still conscious. Stay focused, to be.
path. Yeah, we have to go the long way for maximum evils. Beef. Well, that's just, like, depressing. Supreme Depression hours up in here. Because I deferred our data sync. I noticed some weird noise in the bunker server data. So oh, yeah, all the way back in B route. I see. The transport terminal is corrupted. We need to get to the hangar and get some flight units. And that's also maybe why that one S unit was telling him you need to update your data or like put your data in. Damn it. Or else they wouldn't be able to update, which is a lie. They just wanted to Commander, get 9S infected. We need to get some flight units from the hangar and get out of here. It's all just great. Commander, hurry! Are you I also infected? Here. I can't. Commander. I too was synced up with the server. So that means that <laughs> yeah. Get back into your systems and there's no time. You two are the last remaining members of Yorha. Well, that's You're impressive. To survive. But commander, besides. And that only plays if you do the flower command. quest. Oh. Let me at least fulfill my duty here to the end. Well, that just makes it extra <laughs> sad, but at the same time makes sense. Are you going to blow up the bunker? <laughs> We're getting another opening credits that blowing up the bunker. Huh. Well, great. So, uh, praise be the, uh, the resistance members that weren't synced up, but they got knocked out by... Diddly D. Oh, hey, it's the brother robot again. Because of what 9S said, robots also kind of get backed up. And so they'll try to do the same thing over and over and over again, even if it doesn't work. We're gonna have to fight other Yorha units. Other flight units. Of course, you get like free range. Just stealth function released. Your high unit two B's stealth function unlocked. Great. Two B, two B. Well, just great. These are the jackasses that couldn't even survive an ingle blast. Over the ocean? Gotta find a way to land this thing. 
When did you get that? Reactor core temperature rising. Alert. Great. FFCS and NFCS systems unresponsive. Analysis. Offensive functionality lost. Great. God damn it. Back to the flooded district. Alert. Multiple enemies confirmed. Today is just not our day, is it? Thank you, Pod. How are you not infected? Your lights are flicking. Are you gonna... Nope, we're gonna kill you. Maybe. Your eyes went different. Nope. Well... Everything went very different. This just makes me doubly go, why was, like... But again, it's just like uh, the 9S route and the 2B route are, like, disconnected that way. You have to play them back-to-back -back rather than at the same time. But at the same, same time, you wouldn't get the same experience of the certain unrepeated segments near the end. Like, I don't know. I feel like there could have been a way to... like, combine the segments and have it all really match up. Vaccine? What do you mean, vaccine? Do I have a vaccine in my items? I don't think so. Nope, can't use that. I don't know how to use that. If I have a vaccine, let me go in. Because no, because there was a thing like, hey, is it in the key items? I just got to make sure. Because I don't think so. Because then again, like... Specifically, it said vaccine, so maybe it's enhancement? Because I don't know, this feels like the type of thing they'd be like, hey, you have to do this. Hmm. But probably not. <laughs> Welcome to Nier, it says. Chat says. Well, I guess... Hmm. Nothing there. Well, let me check my diddly D. Oddly, <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. The gambler's den is gone, but it seems that all the other things, like the trial of sand, is still up, and underground coliseum is still up. Kind of amusing to me. All the androids are taken out. Hey, it wouldn't fire. Darn. Guess. Quick save. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Just away from here is the vibe I'm getting. And I don't have a vaccine to fix it. To keep it from spreading to other androids. Pod, give me a location that's low on android signal. Uh, so I need to go to a crazy place. Searching. Analysis. The area near the abandoned commercial facility meets the desired. So the mall. Alert. Your high unit 2B will 
Oh, darn. You don't say. <laughs> Gotta get there fast. But it seems like it to be like a timed thing or not at. And they're playing chill music. Reading my chat, I forgot that I could evade sometimes with the flight mech. And reset. Analysis. Virus is transforming and progressing its own algorithm. With well, that's not good. Speed. Removal will be difficult. <laughs> when did we get infected, though? I guess from all, all of the AMPs. Much like how the uh, initial Yorha units were infected was through... Dang it, I need to be able to jump the gap. Let me jump. I'd like to jump. This is the way I've always used to get across game. Unless you want me to actually go all the bloody way around. There we go. That's all I wanted. To the mall. We need to get to the mall. They keep slowing me the fuck down. Because Platinum never stopped annoying players ever since the slow section of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Right is when I got speed back. Great. If only I could ride the animals to safety. God, this would suck for somebody if, like, this all un bothered them. They wouldn't be able to finish. At least I saved at the flooded city. And I think I made a swap. Let me quickly check. It's even affecting this. I just want to check and see. No, I didn't make a swap, so... I still have... I can always swap later. Hopefully. If the game orders a save, then we're doomed. If anything up here is optional. Hmm. I don't think I made it. Never mind, I did kind of make it. Well, it's not like there was a data backup system available anymore. Exactly. If only we could have backed me up into a... Ah, great. I can't even fight. How can she wield a sword? I couldn't. Oh, hey! A2. Are you gonna kick me off into the ravine of doom? Apparently, these are all, like, very low-level monster people.
<laughs> cut off your blindfold. Am I going to have to fight 2B as A2? My or 2A or whatever? Take care of everyone for me. Take care of the future. What future? Everyone's dead. Unless, like, 2B just died there. Oh, well, great. Black box signal Put it on the map. Alert. Large scale ground tremors detected. Underground soil structure is no longer stable. What do you mean? This is likely a high magnitude earthquake. Proposal. Evacuate immediately. I'm not going anywhere. Just everything is going on right now. Everything is happening. Everything. Absolutely. She's like, yeah. I don't even know. Don't even know. What to do? What to do? Everything's crazy up in here. It's just like, what the hell? I did not expect it to go this route for everything. Well, I'm gonna head to the safe thing and make a split save. And maybe keep the flooded thing, because who knows. I don't know where we are anymore. Why is a, a, an earthquake happening now? Alright. Okay, we're gonna make a save up here. Then I think that would be good, because while that would be a little bit of a walk, that's still... If there's anything that, I, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. To be. To be. To be! Are you? Oh, already stabbed. Already stabbed. And she said the nickname. Oh, no. <gasps> Are you going to become the new Eve? No. <laughs> and she cut her hair? I am 2B now. <laughs> he is Eve. Well, <laughs> what the hell? I'll kill you! Okay, that's borderline funny. Yeah, but why is the copied city rising? What even? It's getting close to three hours, and I don't know how long ha left we have. And plus, this route's supposed to cover both routes, or like, endings C and D from the highlighted thing. What the fuck is that? Title screen. Again, I thought, like, these would take just, like, a handful of hours, a stream or two. What the hell? Is this the end? Oh dear, this is the end. Why was there fireworks? What the fuck? Did you really think 2B was important, silly you? Final wish, watch 2B die! Two weeks later, everything's hell. Black box signal for your high unit 2B offline. No shit! Death confirmed. Data exchange engaged. Your high unit 9S has completed so that's what all that was about. Of all damaged areas. 
What do you? Oh, for my thought you said that like Nine has fixed everything. Oh what? So that pot's going to activate eight two? Proposal: Eliminate surrounding area. Analysis: Units Nine S and A two are safe. No problems detected. Only one issue remains. And what's that, dear Pod? Surprise the Yorha support system. If the A two and Nine S units are operational, we are required to attend and support. Agreed. Displaying positions of units A two and Nine S. Everything is whack. Everything is whack. I can choose! What do you mean? A good thing I saved, I guess, because I'm going to assume that this is basically mini routes within a route. What? Unless, like, the other pod goes to the other one. So he's off in the flooded city now. Some somehow he was right over here. I do not know. Hmm. Hmm. Like, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know. Is this, like, an important thing? Does this matter at all? Well, I guess... Hey, 9S has kind of gone insane. It might be interesting to see what's going on with A2. Plus, we've been playing 9S a lot. Let's support A2 for now. And then we can just uh, use the backup saves, either the flooded one or the other one. Either or. Let's support. Ah, oh, it's just who to start. You'll play both. Just n numbers. Weak sauce. Activation of unit A2 confirmed. Again, why did the copied city rise? Good morning, A2. <laughs> now the map is different. Who are you? Control A2 for the first time. Zero Technically two. wrong, we controlled her for a bit back there. Been tasked with providing firing support for your high unit A2. I didn't ask for help. No request was received from Unit A2. Rather, it was the final order from this pod's previous support assignment, Unit 2B. Well, it's unnecessary. Your pod Unit A2 Taunt. lacks the authority to override this order. Whatever. What the hell is that huge thing? Unknown. You're pretty useless, you know that? Once again, the other things are still active, but not the gambling one. Oh, wait. Apparently one opened up. I'm going to assume that's where 9S is. Well, on to hell we go. What the fuck was that? Proposal. Unit A2 should state her intentions. Why the hell would I do that? In order to provide optimal support, pods must be supplied with data relating to the activities of supported units. Not happening. I'm just very confused by everything that has happened. So yeah, that'll be my just in case. I shall save over this now. No idea why we, like, temporarily very quickly controlled uh, A2 there. When, uh, fighting off, like, the last vestiges of Yorha. Still no idea what that is. What even is that? Proposal. 
Unit A2 should state her intentions. What did I just say? If an attending support unit is not provided with data related to the activity of its target, it is programmed to automatically repeat the request every 30 seconds until such data is made available. Are you kidding me? Proposal. Unit A2 should state her intentions. <laughs> Needlessly repeating conversations on the same topic is a waste of energy resources. You're the one who keeps talking. Suffer. <laughs> the pods have grown. Very interesting. Well, I did just save, so I guess I can go down here. 30 seconds have passed. <laughs> proposal. Unit A2 should state her intentions. Stop! My intention is to beat the hell out of every goddamn machine I can find. Is that enough for you? Affirmative. Scanning and marking of nearby platforms <laughs> complete. Goliath class enemies detected in desert area. Proposal. Goliath-class enemies should be destroyed. Don't tell me what to do. Pods are not authorized to issue commands. <laughs> Proposals are merely recommendations based on data provided by Unit A2. Proposal. Unit A2 should state updated intentions in order to secure more usable data. Shut the hell up. Negative. <laughs> this pod is engaging in activity based on the final order of Unit 2B. Hilarious. Your high unit A2 lacks the authority to issue commands. Look, just stay out of my way. Affirmative. And now we're facing level 50 enemies. Are those explosion buddies on the turrets? Why would you do that? Ah, that's why. Last ditch efforts. Well, I guess let's see what's up in here, I presume. Okay, these were actually added to the map. Neat. Because I assume that this is... Like, kinda sorta? If not, it, it's kinda sorta. Oh, hey, Gambler's Coliseum is activated again. Huh, I thought they were dead. Oh, it's cause, like, we don't have- we aren't playing as 9S, so we can't act, uh, go to the other one, I think. Hey, I thought you were dead! Who are you? <laughs> they won't talk to me. Oh, I never came and hacked this so well. Don your game. <laughs> Interesting that, like, this is all... Well, <laughs> resistance man. You're your, uh, right? Or maybe X, your, huh? Perfect, so you have some packages that need delivering, but they're too heavy for me to move out the storage. You mind lending a hand? A2 would never do this, but let's do it. Thank you so much, my supervisor's a real hard ass, so if this doesn't get done, I'm a dead man. Just grab all the stuff I need and get out of there, okay? Hilarious. That A2 is just like, yeah, I'll do this. Sure. Marking objects likely to be the target of packages. Hmm. So I can't pull them. Well, that's just like a pick up a bowl, so that one shouldn't bother me to lose. Then again, I should also be able to like, well, I guess I don't know. We have to pick up two anyway. I don't really care about getting all the just items on the ground, they're just normal items. 
Then again, we can also just do that. Look, just normal items, so don't really care too much about that perfectionism. Gotta take a long time to push this box. But it's hilarious that he's just like, oh, you, your ex, your ha, everything went to hell. Help me with my packages. And again, just the hilarious idea of A2 actually helping with this. You got the packages together for me? Oh, well, thank you. That storage area is in pretty sad shape. My supervisor came in early and really wrecked the place. Seems like I'm always having to clean up after her. Anyway, here's your payment. Thanks again. The mercenary. 80% of all quests complete. Just interesting. All of this is weird and interesting. Like, I, no, I guess that's still active. Huh. Weird. But meanwhile, one in the desert, not active. I guess I'll quick save. Well, first let me check my saves. Because I feel like things are going to be crazy up in here. Yeah, because... Let me continue from here. We'll go a little bit, like, check out the Goliath... class in the desert. Excuse me. I just still don't know why I double sneeze most of the time. But yeah, we'll go... Like, uh... Deal with the Goliath class in the desert. And then... Probably end stream there and try to beat it next time. Because we've beat... 9S's main story. If we do just enough of, like, this part, we should be able to then, like, do, I guess, endings C and D? I have no idea. I have no idea what's up. Oh, hey, Emil. You're alive. Eh, one second, Emil. Have to kill some dudes. Oh, I forgot. Jerk of your bio bio legs. Where were you in the hell? Uh, ow, ow, ow. Could have just asked me to stop, you know. Hey, you're A2, aren't you? It must be fate that we ran into each other. And since you're here, you might as well buy something. But he sold out of everything. Because I have too much of everything. Oh, well. well. I look forward to serving you again. What's that? You want to know where I live? No. Well, I live deep, uh, deep underground. Picture something deep and go deeper. Feel free to visit me anytime you want. Hilarious that she actually said no. <laughs> With all the aliens gone, Emil's just like, I'm going to be a merchant. You could probably get the rest of the game in one very long stream. Especially, I guess, if I do the... Desert Goliath monster. <laughs> Basically, it went like this. To be my last wish before I die is... Yeah, what are you asking? I'll give away my pod as your assigned buddy. Hope you two get along. I don't care. 
You're A2. Never mind, just be careful out there, yeah? I wonder what will be out there. You know what would be hilarious? If the final enemy of the game is Jean-Paul. What? Ah, oh, great, these guys are back. Hiding in the desert. Being jerks. Then again, considering <laughs> what happened last time, like, a white-haired android came in, they're just going, murder them all isn't that terrible a thing. Stop shooting. That's illegal in 50 states. Man, if only these, like, knife guys existed, like, uh, before 2B and 9S got there, then they wouldn't have died. And then Adam wouldn't have existed, which then wouldn't have led to the creation of Eve. But still. Obviously, there is a conscious force behind the virus that's been there for a while because... The operator for 9S was talking weird and was probably being influenced, if not outright controlled, by whatever the hell is happening here. How dare you stab me. Again, illegal. But I wonder if we'll learn more about A2 up in here. Since you just said, I just want to destroy all the machine life forms. Like, okay, here's the big one. Go get him. <laughs> Best twist gaming. <laughs> Villain in gaming. Then I guess I'll just like quick save at each one of these that we come across until something nuts happens. Yo, Goliath class, come fight. Oh, you can do that. You can just flip the dip like a bitch. Did not know that they could just flip the bitch. They're all just flip the bitching. What are you gonna do? Try and run away? I kill you. So much for Goliath class. That was over before it started. Negative. Enemy machines remain in the area. Do not doubt the power of Pod. <laughs> oh Jesus, I don't like that. that. Pod answers the Goliath class of machine life form. Because it's just all. It appears to be a machine life form that has adapted to the desert environment. Proposal, destroy the enemy machine. Yeah, that's real helpful. He kind of is being helpful. You're just being unhelpful towards yourself. Oh. Interesting. 
Oh! It is indeed Berserk Mode. Well, congratulations, A2. Uh, the pod was right, you idiot. It's slow and steady. Plus, it was also draining my health. Yeah, beast mode is worthless to me. Have to fight these guys each time. Lame. Uh, they both want to go into stupid boring mode. At the same time, too. Die. So much for Goliath class. That was over before it started. Negative. Enemy machines remain in the area. <laughs> it appears to be a machine life form that has adapted to the desert environment. Proposal. Destroy the enemy machine. Yeah, that's real helpful. He's tough. Time to bust out B mode. Alert. The use of B mode to increase nuclear fusion output carries unacceptable levels of risk. And the offensive boost is offset by lower defense and increased maintenance costs. The feature was removed from newer models for this reason. Guess it's too bad I'm not a newer model. Well, I guess we'll give it a shot again. And just try to be... I don't think we can turn it off. Yeah, I don't like B-Mode. But game demands I uh, use it, I guess. Models, such as the A2, are not equipped with ranged weathering. Proposal. Unit A2 should take advantage of her support pod, which is equipped with helpful long-range attack features. Don't patronize me. Oh yeah, I hate beast mode. This is terrible. Yeah, I hate this. Can I turn it off, please? This is genuinely awful. Like, sure, these things die very fast, but so do I! Quit running. Genuinely terrible, I say. For a moment, I thought we just immediately swapped to 9S. Interesting that A2 has hacking capability.
Which is interesting because apparently mankind was gone by the time the aliens invaded. Oh yeah, I am never using beast mode again because it is far too, like, all over the place to spam heals and try and fight. Odd. What do you mean, calling you 2B for a while? Ah, how'd that get in here? Is 2B just gonna cannibalize A2? That'd be borderline hilarious. Cannot. He is supposed to help you, and you cannot give any orders. Jesus Christ, how many of these will spawn? At least the cores don't fight back. What's that? And now you have absorbed the mama. You and I are the same. We have no one to help us. We can only cry. I and said scream. shut up! Yeesh. Just shut up. No way, B-Mode is the most broken ability in the game. It just drains health so fast and put, like, let me put it this way. I have yet to die to combat until that moment. Anything that kills me faster does not, is not broken. Oh, that's hilarious. Conversation mode. It's too fast. Compressed conversation mode complete. Affirmative. Awaiting report on the effects of Unit 2B's memory data on Unit A2's self-consciousness. Understood. Updating as reference data for support activity. Ah, now we go play it. Are we? Select unit to monitor. Well, we do have a nearby save for you. So I guess that we can go and monitor 9S. So that's probably what this is. It's like different chapters in each one. Like, here's a chapter of da 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 proposal. Should periodically review the mental state of Unit 9S. Acknowledged. So it's kind of like bouncing between them, probably. Is the most effective. <sighs> the fuck? Uh, looks like he's awake, Devola. Morning. Slept well, didn't you, 9S? Where are we? Why am I on orange? Are you the two redheaded from that one quest we did? Uh, you don't look like them. Also, your hair is more pink. And that reminds me of Pinkie Pie, and Pinkie Pie voiced evil. I don't trust you. In the resistance camp? That's right. You've been unconscious for nearly two weeks. A little thank you for saving your butt would be nice. Where's 2B? Dead. Oh, you know that better than anyone, no? Her black box signal disappeared. Oh. 
Gamma and Popola are rare android models designed for medical treatment and maintenance. Interesting. Without the bunker, they are the only remaining way for Unit 9S to initiate repairs. Proposal. A word of appreciation is appropriate. Eh. <laughs> 9S is too depressed to be kind. Thanks. Yeah, there used to be lots of our models around. And then everything happened. Apparently, we were put here to oversee some kind of large-scale system that was in place. Apparently? What does that mean? It means we don't know. All the records from that era have been deleted. Weird. Our model kind of went nutso at some point in the past. It ended badly. Most of our kind were disposed of after that. Huh. But we were spared. They used us as a sort of control group in order to ensure such a thing couldn't happen again. So yeah, we're lab rats. But at least we get to be here helping out friends. I'd like to think that we're atoning in some way for our past sins. Interesting. Try not to overdo it, 9S. Let's see. Only a handful of quests. It's that guy again. And then... Trial of Sand, which wasn't available probably because it was nearby the attack place. Interesting. And I've got mail. Have you seen these folks, perchance? Nope, sorry. They were part of my squad, but I lost contact. When they went out for field research. If anything has happened to them. Well, to put it bluntly, if they're dead, I need to know so I can mourn them properly. Have you tried searching for them? I'd go myself, but my motor systems were heavily damaged some time ago. Still, I just can't stop wondering what happened. I'll help with the search. I'll look for them. If you will. Sure. Can you give me an idea where to start? Last time I heard from them, they were in the flooded city. I'll give you their ID codes. We all wield, du du wield dual weapons, so you should be able to find them easily. If they're dead, I'd appreciate if you could retrieve any personal articles you find. Hmm. Considering that we can bounce back and forth, I feel good to save over this. Let's see. Inbox. A2 also has mail. Interesting. As you are aware, our recent large-scale offensive ended in crushing defeat with the loss of our Yorha compatriots being a particular point of deep regret. Long we will remember their brave sacrifice. However, do not lose hope, for the truth is that we, humanity's great army, still possess the upper hand. Go forth and fight for victory, not just for your sake, but for the sake of the fallen f as well. I don't trust you. Yorha is basically dead. And, uh, might as well. Oh, hey. Anything to say? I'm so glad you made it back safely. And then we, we can also hack the thing back here. <laughs> Large recovery. We should also buy a lot more small recoveries and probably activate or like a uh, manage my chips a bit maybe go do some fusion you looking for the resistance member who's usually here yeah he stepped out said he had to make a delivery to the outpost near the desert i thought he'd be back by now honestly maybe you can check on him thanks i appreciate it there's a female resistance member stationed in the desert who might know where he is he's gonna end up dead isn't he Yeah, before we do any fusion. No, it's under skills. Let's see. What equipped chips do we have? That I don't care about. Like, honestly, the experience gauge is worthless to me. Absolutely. Like, I honestly don't mind having that. 
Honestly, the drop rates I don't need really anymore. I don't really need the drop rates anymore because we just have a ton of everything. And then I guess I'll put in more like auto use items to see if we can, if I don't have to worry about healing. That would be nice. Well, actually, first things first, what I should do is look for fusion. Let's see. Can we upgrade pods? No, we cannot because we're still missing pure water. Hmm. I think there's... Do we care to upgrade the shock waves? Not really. Can we... Doesn't seem good. Du -du -du -du. Anti chain damage. Well, first things first, I should try and find, like, the auto heal. That's not bad. Not bad, I'd say. We do have some other auto heals. Oh wait, wrong ones, not auto heals the like uh, diddly dees. Painion about Devola and Popola explaining their origins is related to near replicant story itself. The twins model are also there in replicant, not the same characters, just the models. Interesting. A kind of like sorta of connected, but not super duper can like autumn is super duper connected. Like it's just a nice reference. If we combine them, if health drops below 30%. Hmm. Well, might as well. Skills. Wait, now I'm not equipped. All chips. And then honestly, auto heal. Ah, we don't have enough. Hmm. Is there any equipped that I'd care to get rid of? I really care about. Honestly, fishing, we haven't been using that. That might maybe give us just enough. If not, we'll plug in other things there. Then again, this is, no, actually this is bad, not really good. It's after, outside of combat. And I think we already have an auto heal plugged in. Which is enough for me. So yeah, the other auto heal. If it was constant healing in combat, that would just be broken, which is why it doesn't exist. But maybe, uh, like, offensive heal? Hmm. I should try and combine the offensive heals, because that might be nice to have. Ah, offensive heal. Like 
throw those in. Deal damage. Like, that would help against, like, bosses. So let's see how many we can plug them in, because we probably wouldn't be able to plug them all in. Da -da -da -da. And then we have eight left, which is just, like, the very piddly one. So useless to me. But we can raise my maximum HP. And that works for me. So yeah, the only quests are... Come here for sorting trouble. And then the flooded city gathering the keepsakes. Any on? There's no point in spoilers anymore for Replicant since you found data already in on, uh, Automata giving background about Project Gestalt since it's important related to the Replicant story itself. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. I guess before we end, we'll go here, see what happens, go to the flooded city, try and do that quest, and then probably end there. He'll look at that, and he's like, what the fuck is that? Is it like a new space elevator? The tower. What is that? An enormous facility that appeared from an area beneath the ground. It would appear to be machine-related in origin. Further details unknown. Mobile transport platform detected in the section emerging from the facility center. So, an elevator? That's one way to put it. I think I removed the wrong chips. Because I think my HP is gone. And not the experience bar. I am a fool. Because I want experience gauge remove. And then want HP. Which, luckily... We have to basically do this the entire... Then I can just... Plug you down here. Damn it. Okay, never mind. I actually think it worked out. It was like, for some reason, it felt like it was making me move stuff again. But it was not. There we go. But yeah, we'll head in. To the flooded district, see what happened to his group probably return do the finish the quest and then we'll end there and then I think we will have a good basis for finishing near Automata next stream <laughs> granted it could end up to be the next Ace Attorney where I'm like surely this will be the end and then we go on for seven hours see. I guess save over that since there's not much super point. Oh, I thought you were in there, but we were just over here. Let us see. What the fuck? Aliens?
Just seeing that hovering there is terrifying, gotta say. Yeah, it's just there. Alert. This is one of the resistance members we were asked to locate. I was afraid we'd find yep, this. two guns. The only personal items are these dog tags. Analysis. Remaining transmission records indicate the resistance members were attempting to retreat from battle. Analysis of final coordinates complete. Marking locations on map. Let's go take a look. Goody. Maybe some of them will still be alive. They will not be. They are all... <laughs> How the fuck did they retreat there? How the fuck did they retreat all... I thought this was gonna be quick. It is not. How the... <laughs> they were trying to retreat from battle. How is that retreat? Going halfway across the map. Uh, might as well gather up these dog tags and then we'll turn them in and end stream. And I guess we should we could also be able to go hack the one gate in the underground, but I don't really feel much want to do that. Because it's decently deep into the industrial complex. That just feels like it would just give me another sword. Which means I would then have to upgrade the sword for proper use. I do wonder how Pascal's village is doing. Hopefully we'll find that out. You dare shoot at me, Satan! You blasted, idiot! Haha! <laughs> I just also realized we never did find the clown parade of peace and happiness. Puzzle. Investigate tower that appeared from the caved in region. Let's check it out. Yes, yes, pod, I know, but side quests. If you didn't want me to do side quests, why'd you put side quests in my game? Game is just like, how dare you actually do side quests? That is illegal. And there's a diddly D here too. Oh, you zombie machine. Customer. Ugh. Just going in circles. Man, there's blood everywhere. Whatever happened must have happened right here. Talk about a bad way to go. Ah, so this place is wrecked. It used to be a place of fun. Are you okay? Nope. The happy music is gone. Where'd your family go, man? I need to check on Pascal's village if possible. Then we'll use the cut shortcut back to the city. And then go to industrial complex. 
to grab there. Plus, we'll be able to check on scientist guy. But yeah, what are those, I wonder? These floating spaceships that just appeared. <laughs> He's gone. And now the music starts playing. And damn it. The cellar is down. I wonder how many were able to get out. I see another one over there. The one that was waiting for... Either the one waiting for its partner or the partner. Well, I know that we will see Pascal again because Pascal was in the opening, like preview thing. Won't even let me hack it, game knows. Damn it, that's just sad. We don't even really know how they got taken out. Or who knows, maybe we'll play as A2 and that will happen. Yes, yes, yes. Normal body for you. Suffer. Well, I guess since we're in the area, we'll check this out, but then... I wonder if Tubi's body will be here. To mourn. Not even a blood stain. it seems like, unless it's over here. Nope. It's gone. You know what that means. Obviously, she's alive, because when there's no body, that means that they're okay. It's only when you see a dead body you need to be scared. Yeah, now we'll make our way to the industrial district. Move along. Jerk, I didn't even attack you. Proposal. Use Pulpfire to force him to stop. Eh, he doesn't have anything to sell me, really. So no real point to... <laughs> I still have no idea how to do that weird pod fling. Oh, hey, it's been forever since we fought one of you. And you seem to be more Master Servo than the one at the fortress, or the... the kingdom. At least in actually doing a move, but... kinda hard to do a... What's it called? Like a move that actually moves you around when you're stuck on a diagonal plane. Proposal. Investigate tower that appears I'm in the doing region. side quests! Let's 
On our way back to the resistance camp, we can check out a tower. After saving. Alert. This is one of the resistance members we were asked to locate. No vital signs detected. The unit is deceased. Sucks. Alert. Emergency support request found in transmission records. When was it sent? Approximately 12 minutes ago. That means they're still alive. Let's go. Target location data obtained. Ah, dang it. The can it keeps going. And where is it then? I guess they haven't added it yet. My bad. On map. Now it's added. I was one moment too quick. Out in the desert. Well, first things first. We'll save, go to the big tower, and then honestly end there. Well, nah. We can go gather the last thing. Finish off the stream by doing a quest. We'll, we'll save, go to the tower, Investigate tower that appeared from the then we'll head to the desert. Let's check it out. And how dare you be able to jump. Get stabbed. Get stabbed. Get stabbed. Just quick save, because I don't think we need to worry too much. Although we could do like a... A save swap, just just in case, because you never know when the game might go, and now we force you to save. Now we'll head to the tower. Well, actually, you know what? No, game, you keep telling me to go to the tower, I'll actually go to the side quest first. To the desert we go. Of course, then we'll have to talk to Jackass along the way. Which will continue the other quest. Would be kind of hilarious if it was possible to like go to one place as the other. Like go to a place as 9S and find 2A. Or A2, I forget. Investigate tower that appeared from the caved in region. But side out. quests. What, the delivery guy? Yeah, he was here. He brought me a broken water purifier, which I already repaired and returned to him. We took it out of the storage facility forever ago. You telling me he's still not back? Our storage facility is over in the city ruins. Helps keep it safe from enemy attacks and all that noise. Hell, he could still be there for all I know. Let me sh show you where it is. Huh, just right there. Which works, we can go to the desert. Probably find another dead body. Then on the way back, grab the sorting trouble thing. Just skipping by all the enemies. Geometry will stop them, surely. The power of math. Zipping through the sands. Zipping through the sands. Zipping through the sands. Zipping through the sands. Been through the sands as 9S alone. But yeah, I'm honestly surprised that they did actually seem to kill 2B again, unless 2B manifests herself through. What the fuck is that? Well, it's where the thing is. 
over there. Initiating rescue. Right, so it's these guys again. Damn it. But at least I still beat you. How about you don't do that and say that we did? Still love the 8 bit crush music. Hmm. Violence is all you say. Is this what became of the... Like, uh... The happiness parade? Since it's like the pure opposite? That's kind of the vibe I get. Then again, this could just be like a Mad Max reference and goddamn walls. Not a fan of that one. Damn fucking just contact ones. Hate. Especially since they move. Fucking contact ones. That are just movable walls. So in a way, it kind of is like a continuation of the golden machines. Stabity stab. Yeah, like hacking is the only way I'm going to kill these things, I feel like. Doing no damage elsewise. It definitely feels like my only way of dealing damage is through the hacks. Damn you. At least I don't like. At least I don't think I take any damage if I fail the hacks. My real question is, how the hell did these guys build their own, like, super tanks again? Because I've only seen, like, two tanks. A golden tank and a party tank. You did? I forgot to buy, like, this healing things as well. To locate. No vital signs detected. The unit is deceased. Damn. Analysis. All missing resistance members are deceased. I suppose we'd better return their belongings. <laughs> Bloody dog tag. And to think he was only alive, like, 12 minutes ago. on the way back. But at least, like, 9S can do major damage through his hacking. If I had to defeat those things with pure hands, I uh, we would be there forever. I don't even know if, I, if they were taking any damage from just me smacking them. <laughs> don't know what's going on, because I have, like, my OBS full screen on one monitor, because, again, I've moved like the my monitors around and the layout of things like which monitors I used to like play the game and have things on and uh, funnily enough the monitor that I have my OBS on is also the monitor that I was like playing games on previously 
But now, for some reason, like, OBS is slightly freaking out. Some of it turning black occasionally. I'm not sure what that means. If it's just angry that it's been going for, like, four hours now. Like, I don't know. Technology is weird. Like, one thing I had to, like, manage when moving things around is, for some reason, because I had my audio previously coming out of, like, one monitor. But after I moved things around and had, like, the games, like, play on that monitor, whenever a game, like, loaded up on it, the audio for everything would cut out. Oh, we're gonna have to find him in here? How'd you get Alert. stuck here? Voice patterns detected from inside storage facility. Yeah, I don't care about the items. I was wondering about this place, but how the hell did you s get yourself stuck in here? Oh, thanks a million. Sorry, but could you do me a favor and clear a path so I can get out of here? I heard my leg trying to force my way out. Also, as you can see, I'm pretty big, so I'm gonna need plenty of space. I guess he feels like that's not enough. Maybe. Or I need to, like, really go ahead. Maybe he's just very slow. How'd you even get stuck in there? Did somebody trap you? I got trapped in here while trying to get everything organized. My supervisor tore through the place like a tornado and ended up boxing me in. I tell you what, I just can't keep up with her anymore. God damn it, there you are! Oh, jackasses. <laughs> that makes sense. I haven't seen you in two- who the hell knows how long, and now I find you sitting here on your ass? And didn't I tell you to keep this place organized? Yes, but you were throwing things all over the place and I got trapped! If something's in the way, just blow it up! This is not freaking difficult! But I- But I don't- don't have any explosives! Then build some! I mean, just look at all the crap around here! I could build ten bombs with this! But there's no way to- Wah, 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 zip it already! Time to teach you some goddamn bomb-making skills! But I just work in storage. I don't need to know how to make a bo- Cram it! Even a lonely warehouse man needs to know how to blow things up. Sorry my useless subordinate caused you so much trouble. You can have this. Not much I know, but whatever. Anyway, I'll see you later. That's funny. Repair? Interesting. And now we shall... Give the keepsakes back. Before heading to the tower, because game kept saying, we should go to the tower. How dare you command me. I'm doing side quests. For a moment there, I was like, what the hell was that? It's just a meal. <laughs> that thing that just flew up away. A meal is terrifying. I know that he said that he, like, split his psyche to fight the aliens. Why is he not fighting the machine at life forms? Also, again, very surprised how many people survived in the resistance camp. Could have sworn that the weapon guy just got obliterated. But nope, he's here. Your face tells me everything I need to know. They didn't make it, did they? No, I'm sorry. I see. This is what's left of their personal effects. Thank you. Now I'll just place these flowers with them. Uh, flowers? Oh yeah, I'm just imitating an old ritual. The human race had many traditions when it came to mourning their dead. I know that may not mean much to us, but... Well, I just want their souls to find some peace. That's the wish I'm putting into these flowers, at any rate. Thank you again for your help. Can I admit something? I'm relieved that I was too injured to fight. 
I'm relieved because it allowed me to escape. I mean... There are worse things to be relieved about. And I think that's all the side quests done here. So next time, that's we will... Of mourning the dead. That very fitting, considering. Huh, so yeah, it was them who gave me it. Type 3 sword? I'll buy. Doubt that I'll use them. Death rattle? Why would you want that? Time slows down when near enemy projectiles. Combos continue while evading. Taking bullet damage creates an explosion. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, I guess I'll buy that and maybe move things around, but probably not. And say, think you'd be able to give us a hand with a certain odd job? Great. Devil up, please. Well, what else can we do ever since the huge-ass tower showed up? We've been short on people and supplies. If we keep, if we keep getting distracted by the little things, we'll never get those resistance members repaired. That's true, but... So there you have it. Anyway, mind lending us a hand? Sure. Great, much appreciated. Okay, so all we need are some stripped screws, small gears, and machine oil. You can get a stripped screws from the machines that look like they've been stacked on top of each other. I think you can get small gears from small machines with short legs. You should be able to find some of the machine oil near a deserted truck at the abandoned factory. Please don't put yourself in danger for this, alright? I think I already have everything. Okay, that's everything the twins yep. ask for. Yeah, let's see. Yep, that's everything. Thanks for the help. And it's time for us to get to work, Devila. Er, what are you using this stuff for anyway? Isn't it obvious? Daily necessities. We're often asked to handle various odd jobs around the camp. Odd jobs? With all your technical skills? Oh, it's no bother. We're happy to help however we can. Frankly, we're thankful to just have a job of any kind. Anyway, enough gabbing. Here's your reward. Oh, I couldn't possibly take this much. Just take it already. It's not like we have anything to spend it on. Go on, you've earned it. Maybe you'll agree to help us again later? And a level up. Oh, hey, I might be able to upgrade one of my pods now. I'd love to sit here and chat, but we need to head out and take a job. Things are a little crazy around here at the moment. I need to get these materials post haste and... Hey, sis, just ask already. You want me to get the materials for you? Oh, if we couldn't possibly ask. Agree. Thanks, this is a huge help. Devil out, we can't keep asking people to... Yes, we can, sis. Let's just be grateful for the help. Anyway, I just need you to track down some desert roses. It's a pretty rare plant, but I'd start by searching around the old ruins in the desert. Sorry to put you through this, and please be careful. Some of the desert enemies are quite strong. And yep, I don't think I have enough of that, so we'll be grabbing that too. Definitely buying tons of restores. There we go. Then I'll go save, and now... That is that. We did a lot, and still have a decent amount to do, but I do think we should be able to beat the game next stream, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. But yeah, we did a lot. We beat B ending. And just a whole different section of the game opened up and everything went to hell. The bunker's gone. Everybody's bas basically dead. There's just the unknown enemies. Like that did the virus. And now we're playing as A2 and playing as 9S. Thanks for the stream. No problem at all. These are very fun. Well, definitely need to like pl plan things out because after we beat this, I am totally going to play Persona 3 Portable. <laughs> it was fun hanging out and it was very nice having you to be here. 
But yes, next time we should be streaming is Monday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, because I'm trying to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard. And next time we will aim to beat this game, if at all possible. And if not, eh, what's an extra stream? But I just hope that we don't end like, uh... There was one game that I was streaming a while back. And I apparently just stopped streaming right before basically the end, so it was only like an hour-long stream. <laughs> but, yeah, if we can beat this, we'll move on to Persona 3 Portable. And then I'll ramble about all that next time. But... And well, let's just hope that the next time I stream, it doesn't turn into a, oh, obviously we're going to be near the end, and then I stream for eight hours like I did with the ending of Ace Attorney. Eh. I also need to get the Apollo Justice Collection for the rest, well, pretty much most of the rest, because Ace Attorney's fun. Ace Attorney's a lot of fun. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you liked what you saw, everything else that I do can be found in my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, or direct links in bios, descriptions, and link places of all the various sites. Everything that I do is in there, like my edited content YouTube channel. I swear someday more content will be uploaded there. Streaming to Twitch or YouTube, depending on your preference. And then... Blah, blah, blah. Then all these streams are uploaded to the YouTube channel after the fact, just so for quality reasons. And then if you want to see art from me, similar to my little character in the corner, I upload art to the various art sites and social medias that I post to. And then I throw some stories that I write to various writing sites also linked in there. And then finally is my Patreon, which is basically just a donation box for the extraordinarily kind. But yes, but yes, thank you very much, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. And thank you for spending your time with me. Bye-bye. <laughs>